Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hold on. Okay, that's better. <laughs> huh? Ha. Hello, everyone. Hello. What is doing? How's the sound? It's a little echoey. Flashbang. Flashbang. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're 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 gonna have to destroy your eyes because um. We got our eyes destroyed before by YouTube light mode. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. I'm on my laptop and I didn't turn anything into dark mode. So it was like, we all got flash banged. <laughs> so, a little echo. Yeah, we can't help that. We're in a very, we're in a cave. We're in a cave. Don't worry about it. We're in a box. <laughs> I'm sorry about it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Audio a bit low. Um, oh God. The mic or, or, or? I think the mic. I know you don't have like a cloud lifter. <laughs> no, man. I just have to use the gain and the OBS. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me let me bump us up for you guys. Gain increase. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, now we're gonna blow out your ears. <laughs> okay, talk normally. Uh, actually, I think this is fine. I think that's good. It should we be. We have good. a limiter, so it's alright. Yeah, we, we won't blow it out. Okay, how is that? How is that? Make the BGM, BGM. a little lower. Okay, it should okay. be okay now. It should be fine now. All right, welcome to the Hime plus three up. Uh, Hime. <laughs> Hime plus three. I drove an hour to this cave. Me okay? and me. Yeah, all me. <laughs> the Sheena and Rie podcast. It's been a long time. Yes. Yeah. We are currently together in person. That's why it's it's a cave. Mima obtained. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, like the jet engine in the background. Thanks. Thanks. We're, we're on a plane. We bought it with our own money <laughs> because we're rich. We're, we're rich. We're angels. We're we're in we're in a fancy cave made of granite. It's it's not it's not like a caveman cave. I promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I we traveled pretty far to get here. Mm -hmm. Um, I I traveled maybe ten hours from here, but you you probably traveled. Farther from farther. Yeah, I came. I came all the way from down under. Down clearly. Under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just a coincidence that we were in Canada at the same time. Yeah. So we decided to uh, meet up and have an episode because you guys have been nagging both of us. <laughs> like, when is the Rie and Sheena show going to come again? And we're like, oh, we've just been super busy the last. Yeah, couple. it's been pretty busy, and like, I feel like. The, the hardest part about collabs is like the actual like planning and like getting making time um because it is so hard to get people together for stuff we've had so many collabs fall through because like n people couldn't make it or like the times didn't match up but yeah now since we're in the same place it's a lot easier i think yeah it mm. was just like everything just kind of fell into place yeah but yeah december was really busy i think november december mm. was super busy for all of us so we Try not to do as many collabs. We all had our own like things. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's still kind of busy, but um, you guys are gonna see the fruits of our labors yeah. pretty, pretty soon. Pretty so. soon. Pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, really by excited. the way, um, I just want to let you know that right now we're sitting like at a table, and Sheena's chair is like twice as high as mine. Yeah. <laughs> she's only like time I get to be taller. <laughs> she's like she's like boosted up. I'm she's on the booster boost seat. <laughs> That's why, yeah, so everything is a little bit messed up. We're on one tiny screen. We're on like a 13 inch screen yeah. seeing you guys. So yeah, I'm like, if you see my eyes, they're kind of squinting because I need a, I need a squint to read the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very like scuff setup. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys could see it. Yeah. <laughs> Assert yeah. Asserting dominance. I don't know if so I can do that. So who hugged who first? Sheena hugged me when I walked in. The yeah. moment I walked in. Yeah. yeah, I'm really awkward. I'm like, did I put on deodorant today? I don't know if I did. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I got up. I got up. My sister was like, oh my god, I should have. I should have put on the 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 anime girl scent before coming Wait, here. What anime girl scent? So so basically, it all started with Leah. Leah bought these like um fetish scent sprays what? off of like um. A very sussy site, 
and they had they were like the the scent of a JK girl's、oh, um、no. panties or something like that. And、Ew. and then she gave them to me afterwards, Wait, um, because she, she did a test, she did like a sniff test stream, and she ranked them, and she gave them to me. And after she gave them to me, I mixed them all together、Ew. to make the ultimate. It, my the I had to I had、laundry. to air out my my kitchen. With like the purifier, like I turned on the purifier and immediately it flashed red. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What did it smell like though? Describe it. So okay, the mixture in general was really strong, but you know, like the sour scent of like <laughs> sweat. No. <laughs> There's like a little bit of that,、Ew. and then it's kind of musky as well. <laughs> I wonder、so、how they、musky. like. Developed it like someone had to have like I know <laughs> like imagine being the underpaid like Chinese worker <laughs> having to make these in a factory. Oh, my <laughs> condolences. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really thought of that. You know, like in Japan, there's like a like, if there's a series really popular with girls, they would like release character sense of that character. But it's like <laughs> it's like actual. I don't. I don't. But this is like I own three、level. of them. You, wait, which ones? Which I own ones? I own I own one from Grand Blue and two from IDV. Oh my god! I have I I have the smell of IDV in my in my purse. I think the only <laughs> series I was like tempted to buy it from was Katakyo Hitman Reborn. Oh, true. That was a long time ago, so I haven't really been. You saw the grand blue. Yeah, yeah. They're like actually really. They're really like. They don't look like anime merch. They're so like high class looking that、yeah. like you wouldn't be able to tell it's anime merch unless you saw like the unless you recognize the character. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. They they're getting more sneaky nowadays. You know they don't just yeah, slap yeah. the character on there anymore like they used to. <laughs> Honestly,、yeah. that's the kind of merch that I would like to have for us. Like subtle merch that like could. Pass as normy things, but like if you know, you know. I thought you meant perfume, and I'm like, have you looked at your percentage of women <laughs> in your chat? I don't think I don't think Saka is gonna be able to make a profit. Okay, chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> like who's gonna who's gonna maybe if we make cologne, cologne, then maybe you guys can wear it to、sense. work. Yeah, <laughs> like. My my freaking six or eight percent women, give or take. Um, you have six or eight、yeah. percent of female viewers. At some point, I had like thirteen. Nice. I think.、Yeah. I think my highest was like eleven, ten or eleven. That's pretty high. Yeah. That's pretty high. Yeah. See, see, we get we we pull bad bitches. We we. Pull <laughs> <laughs> bad bitches. We get girls. <laughs> you don't believe us? <laughs> you don't believe us? Like one out of every like, how many? I can't count. I can't count. <laughs> There's like ten girls in here at any given time. Yeah, real, real. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we have received your 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 elements, your questions, your concerns、um, over the past week or so, a few few days, past few days. Few days. Yeah, past few days.、Um, food related、um, questions and. Today, although none of us were we're not professional chefs or diet dietitian, yeah, we're <laughs> we're not nutritionists. Yeah, we asked you guys to send us your food and nutrition related questions today.、Mm. Yeah, seeing as we're going to eat a nice dinner together afterwards. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not professionals. We're、mm-hmm. just we like we like food. We like food. Do you cook? <laughs> I will cook if necessary, but most of the time, you know, I I live in the, I lived in the castle. Like I had servants. Why would I need to cook? You know. This is true. Sadly, I am a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now that I've been yoinked from, I've been kidnapped, human trafficked over over to here. I have to make. I have to make do. Make、um, do. Yeah. So what what do you usually cook? Like what do you usually eat? Pretty simple things. Like if I do have to cook, it's like you know rice and vegetables. My the dish that I cook the most and that I guess like I cook the best is like a、uh, gyudon, like a、uh, oh, teriyaki beef、really、rice.、Good. It's pretty easy to make.、Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't have a recipe for it either. I just go off feeling. <laughs> so, feeling? That's yeah. the best type of cooking. I like to make the chicken version too. It's really, mm -hmm. really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, how about you? Do you usually I, I cook every single meal. Pretty much oh every God. single meal. I don't Guys. really go out. Wife once, her up. Once a week. Wife her up. <laughs> once or twice a week, I will eat out, but like, I get delivery. But usually, I will cook and eat stuff because um, it's cheaper. Yeah, let her cook. Yeah, let her cook. <laughs> orange chicken? No. That's like not even. I'm not sure if orange chicken's healthy. It's like fried chicken with some like sweet and sour sauce on it. It's basically yeah. like you're frying it with the sauce, right? Like you stir fry it after you fry it. Yeah, you, you, you fry the freaking chicken and then you stir fry it with the sauce afterwards. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See, I don't cook chickens where where I live. Um, I get chased by them. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was with that? I didn't know there were wild chickens in like. I did not either. Under. Wait, wait, was it here or? It was here. Oh, um, okay. Then that makes sense. Yes, they're wild. Yeah. Chickens. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been. Yeah, I'm really, I think my cookies see my cooking a lot in my in the Discord and on Twitter. Mm, mm. Yeah, so yeah, I do I do like cooking quite a lot. I like cooking and baking. Um, so yeah, you guys sent. There's like 84 questions. Some of them are. Some of you are kind of sus, <laughs> like asking us whether or not we eat ass. Oh, I, um, I want to read that one later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll get to that later. Yes. Um, <laughs> Nice, nice, kind of, lol. <laughs> yeah, food, food related question. It is, it is, it is eating after all. It is a meal. It is eating. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars. You put tennies for breakfast. Chickens are valuable sources of nutrition, especially in nugget and tender forms. I think those are the easiest modes of delivery when you're on stream. True. Yeah, because it's only like finger foods you can eat while you're on stream. Do you eat on stream? Sometimes if I'm in a rush, but usually because like. I don't know. I feel so awkward if I eat on stream because it's like I'm not sharing with them. I know. So because they're just hearing me. Yeah, too, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like we're not mukbangers, okay? I know. <laughs> that's that's kind of like a untapped market. I feel like like VTuber mukbangers. VTuber mukbangers. But you but can't see the food. You can't like, see them eat. Actually, put yeah. it in their mouths. So oh no. Yeah, oh, one of these days, technology. You've done it anyways? Me or Hime? I um, mean, like, we probably... Have you eaten on stream? Yeah, I, I eat sometimes on stream because I keep forgetting to eat before. Mm. So they hear me chew half the time. In half of my uh, shorts, I'm actually chewing. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, god damn it! <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's, that's the downside of having a good mic is that it picks up, like, every single little sound that you make. I know, right? I just, I just got the expensive mic. Mm. Um, yeah, so Yep, yep um, Never brings enough to share I can't put it through the screen, guys Can I send you guys little nuggets Through the screen One of these days One of these days When when technology reaches its its heights Its heights <laughs> Just send you guys chicken nuggets As a thank you For your soup box <laughs> Thank you for the soup box Here's chicken a nugget, nugget. <laughs> Okay Alright Let's start with the questions. I, I won't be able to put them on screen because I, our screen is very tiny yeah. today. So let's see. Um, the first question, ginger ale or ginger beer? I remember, um, I actually found out the difference between ginger ale and ginger beer. Like, I still don't know ago. the difference. I explain. Okay, uh, don't quote me on this. Okay. Uh, I'm stupid. I don't remember things, but I think ginger ginger beer is like the one that's like brewed like real ginger, while one is like um, soda plus ginger syrup or something. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So ale. Correct me if I'm wrong because I I don't know things. Wait, um, chat. Explain. Ginger beer is fermented. Oh yeah, it has more of a kick to it. I think. Ah, so it has more of a funky flavor. Yeah. Oh. I really like, like it actually. They they are they are both kind of sweet. Uh, I like both. I mean, I think I've only had that one brand, of Canada Dry. Mm. Yeah. There is a really good um Australian brand called Bundaberg, and <gasps> yeah, Bundaberg. that yeah. one is like actual ginger beer, like fermented ginger beer. It's it's oh. yeah, it's very good. I've had their root beer. I've had the Bundaberg mm -hmm. root beer, but not ginger beer. 
to yeah. be really clear, it does. It really wakes you up better than coffee. Like a good a good ginger beer out of the fridge will actually like make your senses clear. It's gonna open oh, your third so eye. You should you should drink it when you get a cold. I think I think that might help. I know my grandma know. used to do this thing where I don't know. I don't know. This is just something we did, but we would boil, boil ginger boil, in Coca Cola. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Even to this day, like my family still does that whenever I'm sick. Like they they make hot co- hot cola with lemon or something. Okay, so it's not just me. It, no, I, think, I told this yeah. to my cat one time, and they're like, "No, no, no that's <laughs> a cat for sure." I'm like, "No, no, no, it's real." It's a thing. Even if yeah. you go to like some restaurants, you can you can ask for a hot cola, and they'll know like how to make it. Yeah, it's it's a cultural thing. Hot cola is a thing. It clears your sinuses. Yeah. You yeah. can also get like cola fried chicken wings or something. Wait, I've never had those. Yeah, those those are like um pretty popular as like street food, I think. Or like in in um like what what's it called? Like uh cha chang ken. Things like that. Oh, uh, I've never I've never had it. I really want to try it. I mean, it can't be different from like beer battered chicken. Wings. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Or... That's the thing. Yeah. I guess it would mix good with chu jang and stuff. So. Mm. It makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Sprite and le- Sprite and lemon is like normal. Though. That's basic. That's basic. Yeah. Sprite basically about... is like a lemon drink, isn't it? Yeah. We're talking about like like boiling Coca Cola on the stove with yeah. Literally, ginger. it's not even like yeah. microwaving it. You have to boil it <laughs> yeah. and then like. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yeah. 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 Motor oil and battery acid. Uh, a classic. Classic. Yeah. yeah. We have that all the time yeah. in my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a cold remedy. You yes. know when I was doing my America uh, stream review, mm-hmm. there was someone that submitted a clip of someone like frying fish using like motor oil. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I was on TikTok and I saw Did you that. see that? I yeah. Saw that video. I don't know why it got recommended to everyone. <laughs> But there was like this lady, like yeah, she was just sitting there, like greasing up her fish <laughs> with motor oil. And the guy's like, "What you doing? You sure you use the right kind of oil?" She's like, "She's like, my entire family grew up doing this. We and we're okay. Yeah, <laughs> you never eat anything with motor oil in it. I have, I have doubts, man. I have doubts. Yeah, go to Greece, bro. Allegra chicken. You know what Allegra what is? is? That it's like a, it's like a." It's like a allergy medicine. <laughs> Isn't it Nyquil? Isn't it Nyquil chicken, not Allegra? I've only had like pill sh- pill Allegra. Not I like, know what Nyquil. Isn't that to help you fall asleep or something? Or like Nyquil? No Nyquil. Oh no, 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 no sorry. Um, is that for colds? Nyquil's for colds. Yeah, yeah. but people Nyquil have been chicken. marinating their chicken in Nyquil. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listerine chicken? No! You're not supposed to ingest it even. That's even worse. Okay, to be fair, I didn't know before that you, like, the first time I used mouthwash, I think I was like eight or something. I didn't know you weren't supposed to swallow it after. Wait, so you, you drank mouthwash? I would, I would like, because I saw, I saw, like, um, my, my, my dad, he was just like, go, like, uh-huh. go, go, go. And I never saw him spit out because, like, he kept it in his mouth for a long time. Yeah. So I thought he just swallowed it. So I did that. <laughs> Maybe that explains something. It explains a lot, most yeah. likely. <laughs> Mouthwash is alcohol and oh my god, underage oh my drinking. God. Wait, wait. How much alcohol can you take? Me, um I feel like I could take more before. Uh-huh. Now I, I I rarely drink unless it's like an occasion or uh, yeah. yeah. So maybe like mm, two one and a half or two sojus oh, yeah. and I'm out. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought I like I calmed down a lot, so now I'm like three yeah. sojus and I'm kind of drunk. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Chad saw me drunk. I could drink quite a lot. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rookie numbers. I know. Well, we're cheap. I know. It. It's cheap to get in drunk. That's a good thing. <laughs> you know, like it's not. It's not expensive when you go out. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I remember when when I first turned Forever 18, I was so excited to go outside and like, you know, party it up with everyone and like, you know, do what the big kids do and everything. And after going out once, like, I spent like $200 on like just drinks. It sucks. I used to, I used to go to this bar and I would go there every weekend and then they would just give me this like huge like fishbowl. 
of mojito. Oh my god, is it like, is it like, um, just a whole like, bowl and then you like, uh, scoop it out or... It was a literal fishbowl from Ikea. <laughs> like, you I had just to put it on ladle. my lap. And then I had a Oh, few you just drink it with a straw? I thought you were some, I thought you were gonna say like you scoop it up with like that, a See, that's what you're supposed <laughs> to do with like That's what friends. you do like yeah. But you had to have friends. <laughs> <laughs> you had to have friends and I didn't have those, so I just drank the whole thing myself. Real. Yeah, real, real, real. I was known I was known to get really messed up in that one bar. Yeah. The fishbowl. Fish <laughs> to be yeah. fair, I've been tempted to drink from fishbowls before. It's great! It's great! They it was like mint. No, mojito. but like with fish in it though. Oh. <laughs> I mean they look kinda tasty, but I don't think they would actually be tasty. I don't know. Did mm. the BGM die? <gasps> Loof it! Loof it! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Now you guys can hear the uh the, the, the cave. The, okay, properties. Yeah, okay, we're smart. They're, they're we're, professional we're totally, streamers, by the we're way. Professional, totally, a hundred percent. Alright! <laughs> Next question, Sheena. Uh, Sheena probably knows already, but what's your opinion on Met and Free Cadeller? What is that? So she doesn't know what Met is. Does Chat know what Met is? Does Chat know what Met or a Free Cadeller is? Not what Meth is. No, let's not talk. <laughs> this is nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so let me. Yeah, see, let they me thought, show they you thought guys. You said meth as Met. Well. Met. Met food. Okay, so Met, I will show you guys a picture. It is raw pork on a piece of bread. Um, and it's Oh, I just know thing. this is some white people stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's raw pork on Mets, a yeah, all about bread. the Mets. Love the Mets. Let's go Mets. Get home from Mets. <laughs> <laughs> I will put it. Oh god. Oh my god. It overtook the screen. You might get demonetized for that. Oh, really? No, it's, just, like... it's just ground meat. <laughs> I got this. I got one, one of my vods got demonetized for putting like a, a um, what's it called? You know those pitcher plants? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it eating a bug? No, but it, it was because it looked like a. <laughs> oh, oh, the plant ussy. Yeah. Okay. The grass us Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it do really be like that sometimes. I'm <laughs> I'm like surprised I haven't gotten demonetized for that. Honestly, it's, Susan works in mysterious ways. Honest I think I think on my stream we've seen the most naked people <laughs> than any other phase member. <laughs> Your people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is ground pork on a piece of bread and it's raw. Yeah. No, this is what like perplexes me because every time I talk to like a person that's mostly Western, they get freaked out by sushi. But then I'm like, but, but you this. guys have this. You guys have raw pork. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like um, what's it called? Like yuke? You know? You yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. The Korean Korean Korean. It's uh, like raw 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 beef. Raw beef. I've had I've had it. Well, I'll show you guys. Yeah, Save with image. like um radishes and and egg. No, it's it's Korean tartar. pear. Oh yeah, it's it's basically like tartar. It's it's tartar. It's beef tartar. Yeah, I've had it. I really like it. I don't know. It's just like eating a raw like a blue steak. Mmm. Which I'm kind of a fan of. Yeah. Oh my god, mm. I had the rawest steak like the other the other day when I went to a fancy restaurant. I think they were. It was like what. First day of Chinese New Year, so they were pretty packed, and like everything was already like behind. the 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 limit for eating in is usually like an hour and a half, right? Yeah. It was like an hour, and we hadn't got any of our food, so we had like the most rushed meal ever. They bare it, it was like they barely grilled the steak. They put it on there for five seconds. They're like, "Okay, serve it, serve it, let's go." They seared it a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Yeah, I had that happen uh, during on my Christmas trip, but they kept serving me congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it was past well done. It was congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it was congratulations. Yeah, and we waited like three hours for our food. It was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Raw steak versus congratulations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's what's like rarer than rare? SSP. 
plus <laughs> SS rare. Oh, you are. You are. Ultra rare. You are stick. Yeah. Yeah. I had a you are stick, <laughs> and Sheena had a congratulations stick. <laughs> ultra rare. Alive. Yeah. I don't know. I would try that. The the sandwich. I would I would give it a bite. I think I would give it a bite. I think I would give it a yeah, a little nibble. A little nibble. And See it's how good. it is. Okay, but yeah. wait, what's the other thing? What's the other thing? What's the other um thing? in, in oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, it wasn't met and something else. Met and fricadella fricadella. I don't know what that is. Copy. Probably some some other German stuff. <laughs> Frick fricadella. Fricadella. Oh, oh, that looks good. What is Danish meatballs? Are they half cooked? Cause they look they kind of cooked. This don't. This doesn't look like meatballs to me. It just looks like a like a little beef patty. Yeah, it look. It looks cooked as hell. Meatballs. The only meatballs I enjoy are the IKEA meatballs. Swedish meatballs are unironically. IKEA meatballs are yeah. kind of lit. I like. I the, lived the on those. I know. It's like you can literally just like dump. You can buy it in packs at IKEA and then dump it into a bowl, stick it in the microwave, and then like boom, you have a meal. That's what I did like when I was when I was in my um first year of college when I didn't know how to cook. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I've never bought the frozen meatballs. I only eat IKEA meatballs when I actually uh, like go. at the store. Yeah, they have some pretty good stuff. There. It's good. There's their restaurant like they have no right being that good of a restaurant when they're like a a, a furniture home, yeah. store? Furniture store. Like, how? Why? Sometimes I go just to eat there. Me too. Yeah, because it's the only place they have the meatballs. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Next question. Uh, If you could oh, choose one of the following to eat for dessert for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Pies, cakes, cookies, or ice cream? Please explain. Hmm, I don't think any of those. Are my favorite Maybe food. ice cream? But like, I'm really picky with my ice cream. It has to be a specific flavor from a specific brand that I really like. Like, my favorite ice cream, and like, one of the only ice creams I'll eat is the Hagen dazs Um, what's it called? Caramel cookie and cream or something. I think I would eat cake because there's more textures. I don't think I could eat like an ice cream texture for the rest of my life. Yeah. Not cookies. No, we don't. We're not gonna. We're not gonna eat. You guys. You guys are safe. You guys are safe. Yeah, I said for cakes. now. I said cakes. <laughs> I said cakes. I thought of you guys. Yeah, gelato yeah. is great. Gelato is really good. I had this um really good gelato where it's like apparently it didn't need to be frozen. It, you can just have it in a tub. Like at what? Room. Yeah, it didn't need to be frozen. That's just cream. No, but like it still had the same like consistency as ice cream. It's not like melted or anything. Huh. It was really cool. Yeah, ice cream be... cakes are great. Oh, I do like ice cream cakes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I like. Oh, my sister always likes the uh, cookies and cream one from Dairy Queen. Mm. Or Baskin Robbins. I forgot. They're the same. They're the same. What kind of pies? I'm not a big fan of pie. I'll be honest. Honestly, me neither. I think if I have to go for something pie like, I'll usually go for like you know key lime pie. Banana cream oh pie is pretty good. I like that one. Um, apple crumble as well. It's apple with ice cream. It's really good. Yeah. I like apple pie with ice cream. You know, there's a there's a place nearby here that has like, um, like steaming hot pies with like a dollop of ice cream. <gasps> Alamo. mode. Alamo. mode. I don't have enough room for that, but yeah. Banana caramel pie. Yeah, banana pies are really nice. I really like banana pies because it's like custard. Pecan yeah. pie. Pecan pie. Yummy. I like, yeah. Pecan pie with the vanilla ice cream is really mm. good too. This yeah. is like peak Christian girl autumn energy. Christian girl autumn? <laughs> you know there's like hot girl summer. Yeah. And then Christian girl autumn. Yeah? I didn't know there was, there was like a saying for that. <laughs> it's like yeah. those girls wearing like cable knit sweaters with uh -huh. Uggs and going to the pumpkin patches to like um, yeah. like pick pumpkins and, and like take pictures of like the, the autumn leaves. The autumn yeah, leaves. Yeah, that is peak Christian girl autumn energy. I see, I see. The pumpkin spice lattes. I think, I think I'm that girl. <laughs> you might, yeah. I might actually be that girl. Oh my god. Do you own Uggs? I don't own Uggs. No, I don't. Okay. I, don't. I usually okay. go in uh, Doc Martens. Yeah, I don't. I don't own Uggs either. Yeah. 
It's just, I would wear them at home, but I don't know if I wear them out. True, Uggs have really nice, they actually have really nice like home slippers. Uh huh. I feel like it's more of a home slipper thing than an outdoor thing for me because like, you know, it's fur. I wouldn't want to get that dirty or anything. Yeah, like how do you clean Uggs? When your inside of the Uggs gets stinky, what do you do? Uh <laughs> like nobody ever answered this question. Like nobody answered this question. The inside of your Uggs gets stinky, sell it to your fans, auction it off. I'm no! sure they're gonna buy it. <laughs> no! No! Oh my gosh. Yeah, the thing, okay, I, people are like, but you, but you wear African uh, Crocs. I'm like, yeah, but you can wash your Crocs. Yeah, you Crocs, them Crocs, off. Crocs are, Crocs are much yeah. easier. Do it? No, I'm not <laughs> do it. That's gross. <laughs> gross. Use fire. <laughs> Stop with the wanging. Wangy, wangy. You guys are still on the wangy <laughs> stuff. I swear. It's been wangy, like wangy. seven months and you guys are still wangy wangy. Order them now. Crocs are pink footwear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I talk him into Crocs. Uh, yeah, I was I was tempted. I was swayed into getting a pair of platform Crocs, but I couldn't find them anywhere because they're all out of stock. All the TikTokers yeah. bought them all. All the TikTokers. <sighs> now, if you go out, all the Zoomers are all yeah, wearing, all the Zoomers are all Crocs wearing now. Crocs. Yeah. See, I my mom bought me Crocs when I was younger, and like. I used to hate them. I thought they were ugly as hell, and I was yeah. like, "Why would you make me wear this? This is disgusting. This is gross." And now, like all the all the cool kids are wearing Crocs out there, like Crocs with socks and everything. Yeah, I like the. Um, I bought like the butter cookie, but oh, oh yeah, like, yeah the, the charms. Ones. Yeah, I'm not wearing them right now though. I didn't wear my. I've been hit by Crocs by my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mega chocla. That's it's true. Beyond the chunk, do they hurt? They probably hurt more. They probably, yeah, they're pretty yeah. solid. But then again, the normal chunkla has that like it's like a whip. Oh it's so yeah. Floppy. <laughs> you know, with like with like a croc, it's like a light break. You know. It is. Yeah, it's croc basically close break. <laughs> La crocla. La crocla. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next question. Um. How does Wemmy have the most base base takes on food in? Face connect. Vegetables are evil. I would like you to um, consider her fridge cleaning arc. Yeah, you think she could before, eat vegetables? Yeah, before, before you say she has the most base takes on food. Um, she only eats chicken nuggets. I know. Are you telling me and like you only eat chicken nuggets? Make stuff in her air fryer that she hasn't cleaned in eight yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> vegetables are good. You guys are sleeping on vegetables. I know. Like... You know how like people used to dunk on like like um in in books and movies people always dunk on like um Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Yeah, Brussels sprouts They're are good. good. They're so good. You roasted a vegetable. I know. Roasted Brussels sprouts of like garlic is so good. It's so good. Most veggies are good. Are you kidding me? How did you how tall are you? <laughs> yeah. How tall yeah. are you? What is the color is. of your stool? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know that. <laughs> Thank you, Surfy the Danger, for your five dollar super. Thank you. Baking soda and charcoal can both deodorize your shoes if you're willing to get your socks a little dusty. Well, that's true. You can put baking soda in it. Like I guess pack. so. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You can freeze your shoes too. Mm. Yeah, don't believe your lies. Vegetables are really good. I eat a lot of vegetables. I most I mostly eat vegetables these mm. days. Yeah, I don't really eat a lot of anything else. Honestly, like. Sometimes even when even when you don't want to like make an effort to cook, like just just like stir frying a bunch of vegetables Together, makes a really like good broccoli meal. Broccoli yeah. and garlic with yeah. some onions. Onions. On oh, the smell of cooking onions is like one of the best smells in the world. Yeah. I swear. Uh, thank you for the soup, Ember. I dislike vegetables growing up because my parents only ever made boiled or steamed veggies. Okay, but boiled or steamed veggies are actually good too. Sometimes, like, sure they're tasteless, but like, it's like, it's like a more clear meal if you get what I mean. I don't know. I never liked boiled veggies. I went to my uh, like friend's house, and they they're obviously like, you know. Mm. Western, <laughs> yeah, very Western, <laughs> and like I grew up eating veggies cooked in like all sorts of different ways. So I like, I love veggies, right? But then I went to this girl's house and they had boiled vegetables, and mm. I was like, 
No wonder you guys don't like oh, did vegetables. They, did they just boil it in water? With in like, water! Oh. There's no like salt or anything. Okay, yeah, that, yeah that's kind of sad. Like, I had my freaking hot dog and my chicken nuggets and then like... <gasps> For dinner? Yeah, and then there was like a pile of soggy Americans. Veggies. Americans. I know. I'm like, you really eat like this? You really want your children to like vegetables? Right. That's what you're feeding them? I don't know, man. And they have this, like, you know the frozen bags of, like, veggies that you guys Oh, buy? yeah. Like, like you just get, like, a bag of frozen peas or, like, a bag yeah. of frozen carrots. Yeah, and then they heat that up. And then they're like, oh, that's your veggies for the day. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You don't fry it up. You don't put anything that's in it. That's why they say you can't, yeah. you can't eat at everyone's house. No, you really can't. I cannot be thankful. I'm like, why should I thank you for yeah, this Yeah, it's like you're, you're sitting there like and they're saying grace, like thank you for our food and you're just like looking it's at like it. It's frozen peas and carrots. <laughs> it's frozen peas and carrots. Okay, now I understand. Yes. OBS? 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 Oh, okay, I think we're back. We're, we're back, we're back. Okay. Sorry about that. We're on a, we're not on a, like a line in connection. Yeah. We're back! Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Susan's trying to sabotage us. <laughs> no, they, they don't really. It's not Susan. It's really just the internet and the cave is. Oh, that's true. Isn't, like the best. Yeah, yeah, you know, like usually medieval caves don't really have like um, fiber. So no, 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 we're in a fancy bitch cave. Oh, no, we no, can't. Okay. We can't call it a medieval cave. A rich people cave. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them the bougie the cave. Idea. They'll really understand <laughs> how we're like we've been outcasts again. <laughs> yeah. You know, they threw us out again. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> Tahin, Tahin. Do you know what Tahin is? What is that? It's like a, like a Hispanic like spice. Oh. But they would put it on. See. Like, yeah, yeah. They would put it on like watermelon and like mangoes too. It's really good. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Well, uh, I never put muy, Tahin. Muy in bien. Muy bien. It's Mexican, yo. Zico mentioned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> okay, see, my chat hates it when I speak Spanish. <laughs> do you know Spanish? I do, but um, I haven't. I haven't spoken in a long time since I left high school. Uh, so uh, I'm, 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 I'm struggling really. You, yeah, you, yeah. You and he man. <laughs> you and Irie should do like a Spanish only stream. Oh my god. I think I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You know what? That. Bet instead of a uh, Korean only because Iris like yeah. completely fluent so like and you're pretty much fluent too yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah Tema as so well it would only yeah. be it would only be fun if you guys did something like yeah oh like. Tema mi muchacho solo hablo español pepo leche burrito taco that's a pepo leche nacho taco chimichanga chimichanga <laughs> Burrito! Burrito! <laughs> Quesadilla! <laughs> Yo, people are legend! Your yeah. Spanish hurts me again! Uh, what, why? Um, que, que, um, Yo what? quiero Taco Bell! Oh, yeah. oh que, quiero, quiero el Taco Bell! <laughs> um, um. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm... okay. They're dying. I, Wait, just, I just know that con arroz means with rice. Oh, yes. Yeah, con, con arroz. Con arroz. <laughs> yeah, I just know it's with rice because I, I never, I was like, um, whenever I order Mexican food, it's like, uh, no fri frijoli. <laughs> <laughs> the no frijoli. arroz. 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 <laughs> A quote from the movie Coco. Remember when we watched Coco um, in BC? I was losing it. Yeah, we, we, were, we were like, Screaming, crying, throwing up, and then who was it that walked in and like who came into our VC and just heard us all like crying like a little bitch? <laughs> I forgot who it was. Was it Uta? someone? I think someone posted on Twitter. I don't remember, but like, yeah, we were we were dying. We were just like crying. I forgot <laughs> who walked in on us. It was uh, was no. I don't know. Was it, was it Irie? I don't know. No, I think Irie was crying with us. I know. There was three of us, right? Yeah. And then like, was it Remy? It might have. It might have been like Remy and Irina. I don't remember. It might have been. Oh yeah. no, it was. It was Irina. Was it Irina? It was Irina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of VC times. We don't have many VC times anymore. We're busy. We're busy. And Ugh. all our time slots are like different. So, yeah. <laughs> <Gringo>. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey! Hey! That's not nice! Uh, uh, anyways. Even gringo moments. <laughs> this, is, this is like, this is like getting, getting Nihongo Jozu. Getting Nihongo Jozu. <laughs> oh, man. Por favor! Wait, pare princesa! Pare princesa! Por favor, oh, no! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See, that's another thing that I like doing since I came to Canada because, like, y'all have French everywhere here. So I just like reading everything in a oh French. Oh god. <laughs> we have to do that later. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're gonna do that, yeah. Let's find a way to Oh, je français. Oh. Oh yeah yeah yeah! This is espresso beans. Let's let's go. Um, Grande Cafe Espresso Italian Torrefe e delle Cabernet. In love with the chocolate au lait. Oh oh my god! Oh, oh, oh no, I have long the flame quality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in English, it's Italian roast espresso beans, lavish in premium milk, dark and white chocolate. <laughs> Grande Cafe Espresso Italian Torrefe. Delectablement enrobé de chocolat au lait noir et blanc de primaire qualité. That's exactly what I said. Yes. That's exactly what you said. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I tried to sound like a Frenchman, like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my moustache. Oh, on va de cookies. <laughs> Les biscuits au beurre. <laughs> With the what? <laughs> You just fucking choked. <laughs> I did not choke. <laughs> Les biscuits au beurre. That is that is um butter cookies in French. Croissant, <laughs> croissant, <laughs> croissant, croissant. I think uh, about that a lot. Le, le cookie. <laughs> no, le cookie. <laughs> <laughs> le biscuit. Croissant, croissant. <laughs> you know, you just insulted me because I'm French Canadian. Good. Good. You have French, you have French in you, you deserve to be insulted. Wait, is it not yeah. called the biscuit au beurre in Canada? Bis huh? Did I say something wrong? Bis Le biscuit. Le biscuit. Is it something else? Is it one of those like, uh, like the le croissant or le pain au chocolat? Le pain au chocolat. <laughs> le pussy. <laughs> Le <laughs> It's like that that composer Debussy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Debussy. 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 No, it's Debussy. Debussy. Get it right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay, back to food. Back to food. I mean, I mean, we were kind of I mean, about Debussy. Food. Debussy is fruit. <laughs> yes, it's a whole ass meal. It's like yo. Okay, okay, okay. What's next? What is this? I have to like lean in. Okay, wait. I'll read this so one. Small. Dear Sheena and me, how do I make a diverse set of meals on a budget? I'm in university still, and I'm still getting really tired of the taste of instant ramen. With the economy going down the drain, I'm finding it harder and harder to find ways to afford meals that I enjoy. Thank you both. Well, as face connects diversity higher, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm qualified to answer this question. Our token Australian. Yeah, you know they had to get someone outside of outside of the usual NA time zones. <laughs> yeah, um, I think things are more expensive in Australia than here, right? So it's pretty much the same. I think um, food is definitely a bit more expensive, uh -huh. but it's still not as much as the U.S. I think when uh -huh. the the week I was in California, bro. My wallet. Whoa, but California L though. LA moment. LA though, it's really expensive. It is. Um, but yeah, um, I don't, I don't know. For me, since I cook at home a lot and don't have, I'm on a VTuber budget. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do a lot of um, you know, udon noodles, those frozen udon noodles. Mm, mm. I buy tons of packs of those and put them in the freezer, and then those. And I get like miso soup and some soy sauce and some veggies. Like I change up the veggies, but I always have garlic around. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I would either stir fry the udon with the veggies and the soy sauce and some like sugar. 
uh, and ginger, or like I would make like a healthy miso soup with the uh, udon noodles in there. Apparently, eggs are like golden U.S. Yeah, I heard that like there's like an yeah, egg drought over there. There is an egg drought right now, so and people are like sneaking over the border to Canada to buy eggs and then like getting fined. <laughs> yeah, just like um. I would just eat chicken right now. There's not a chicken shortage, but there's an egg shortage, right? So chicken's still relatively cheap. They're probably gonna start breeding more chickens to like make more eggs. So. Yeah, no, because we had we had like a bird flu. In oh the yeah, US. yeah. That's why that's yeah. why the eggs all got like cold. Yeah, they there. cold they cold the chickens. So. Yeah, yeah. We have an egg shortage right now, but. But yeah, egg laying chickens died. But the chickens, um, the meat is cheap. So I think out of all the meat types, I think it's either ground beef and then chicken is like the most cheap. So mm. I would freeze some chicken breasts. And then what you can do is you can always grill it and then put it on top of like a yeah, salad. Yeah, and get an, get an air fryer. I'm telling you, it will change your life. It will absolutely change your life because you can stick anything in there. Like you got you you got bread that you wanna have a little um, toasty bun on, stick it in there. If you if you wanna like reheat some fries instead of putting it in the microwave, put it in the air fryer. It comes out like even better. Cabbage is a good filler too. Mm. I found that eating cabbage, uh, it's really cheap still. It's like a dollar or two per cabbage, and it lasts you. It lasts very long in the fridge, and you can like stir fry, you can steam it, you can boil it into your soup. Um, it's a great way to fill you up. The thing about Instant ramen is yeah, it's really good and cheap in the moment, but it'll cost you more medical bills later. Mm hmm. So and like yeah. with all the all the salt you're consuming, you're gonna wake up every morning like bloated, bloated. to hell and back. You're gonna look. You're gonna look like I don't know. You like got a, stung by bees, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Too much sodium. You guys are gonna get heart issues later. Yeah? yeah. Oh yeah. Also, soup. Soup is great. Miso I love soup. soup. I would die for soup. Like, if I could eat one thing for the rest of my life, it would be soup. It would be soup, yeah. Yeah, because like, you can make it from like, you know... You can you can make it from groceries that you find, or you can buy cans of it. And it's filling, it's hearty, it's, it's, it's warm, and it makes you feel like more of an adult if you're like boiling soup than if you're making like instant noodles, right? Yeah, thank you for the super chat, Denim Dan! Egg shortage, meat is expensive as hell, sriracha sauce is scarce. We're in a Wait, why sriracha sauce? <laughs> what well, happened sure. to the sriracha sauce? You know, sriracha is produced in California, right? It's the only yeah. place that produces it, so I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know, I didn't have trouble finding a sriracha where I was, so... Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that, that is, that is, it seems like, it feels like the apocalypse. Crock pot, yeah, <laughs> crock pot, like a, like a freaking pressure cooker too. Mm. I have a small one that's like, uh, BB-8 themed from Star Wars. Mm. It's only for like one or two that's people. That's so cute. Yeah, and you can cook a lot of stuff in it, especially when you're busy, like a lot of beef stew. Yeah. Stew meat's really cheap because they're like really tough, crappy pieces of meat. Mm. You can make them super tender. If you put them in the crock pot. Yeah. Yeah. Things like you can also do like, you know, home um sukiyaki. If you just if you just get like um the sauce and then like some mushrooms, some meat, and udon. It makes for a pretty easy meal as well. Um as long as you have like the little the little bowl thing, the little yeah. pot. Yeah. Oh I know. the sriracha got sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sriracha it's the sriracha flu. Yeah. So keg is really good. It yeah. is. It's, the meat is yeah. kind of expensive right now though. Like the That's slices. True. I had a sliced ribeye to make um to make some udon, mm -hmm. and it was like so expensive. Dude, if you come to Australia, you can get like a plate of wagyu, like sliced wagyu, yeah. for like 25, 30. What? I'm not even joking. Like meat in Australia. Right, we're going is great. to hell. <laughs> we're going to we're hell. We're going to hell. We're, go <laughs> we're going to Australia. God damn. Yeah, potatoes, potatoes too. Potatoes are cheap. I love potatoes. Yeah, you can put it, make them into fries. Just get an air fryer and you can make fries. You can make baked potatoes. Loaded potatoes. Yeah, I eat a lot of potatoes. A lot of oatmeal. I eat a lot of oatmeal when I'm super poor. Mm. Um, every morning I had a bowl of oatmeal with, you know, and it would keep you full for a while. Yeah. I have trauma from having oatmeal. Because what happened? I, I explained this yesterday, but basically what my family does with oatmeal like porridge is that they would crack an egg into it uh -huh. so it becomes like egg drop porridge and egg drop like, 
it's like you you're eating something sweet and then you expect to have like you know a mouthful of porridge, but then you get something with like the consistency of like snot Ew, and then like sudden no. egg. No, they no. do that. They do that with um, what's it called? Um, corn soup as well. Ew. So can they stop just dropping eggs in it? I know. No. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that. They'll do that. Only villains do that. Yeah, when I'm feeling like a fancy. Fancy bitch. I would make oatmeal. I would put um, I would put like some sweetener, like a sugar-free sweetener in it. I would put coconut flakes. Mm. And oh my god, it's like the best oatmeal ever. It keeps you full for a long time. That too. sounds good. Yeah, it's really really good. But yeah, if you don't if you don't have like enough money for coconut bits, just like a sweetener, like a honey would be nice. Honey or honey something. Honey and like some beets. I'm sure it works too. Yeah, some you could put some raisins in there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, lots of lots of cheap ways to eat oatmeal. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, if you're on a budget, you can try some of those things. Yeah. Oatmeal, basically oatmeal. Yeah. Soup, um cabbage. Yeah, you know, before Sakuna yeah. took us into Base Connect, we were we were living on the streets as well. We were, you know, oh god. <laughs> there were we some were, terrible <laughs> times. We were we were making, we were going through it, so like yeah, we have to find a lot of ways to get around it. You know, he doesn't feed us in the basement, so we got. <laughs> we, <laughs> Dude, yeah, we get fed. <laughs> we were in the basement for like six, seven months, right? And yeah. that time while we weren't streaming, some of us had like no income. I think I ate cabbage every single day. <laughs> for like three months towards the end, it was just nothing but cabbage. And there wasn't an egg shortage, so I was eating cabbage, eggs. And that was about it. And like bread. <laughs> yeah. Like, sliced bread. That's all I Did had. I saw one time. Yeah. That like I, I decided to treat myself after the semester ended yeah, and I yeah. ordered a steak, right? Uh-huh. And someone fucking stole you my know, steak. Stole fucking steak. <laughs> I remember that. I oh, was so pissed. I don't like so like the the complex where I lived. Um, like the doors, we had like a group chat, like a group server. So I, I like, I add everyone. I was like, whoever stole my steak, um, I hope you choke on it. <laughs> at everyone. At everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from DoorDash. I feel like, I don't know. I've never had my DoorDash or like Uber Eats been stolen before that time. So like, you know. I wasn't really cautious about it. I was like, you know, taking the I was taking a shower. I was gonna wait until I got a shower to go out and get my food. And it was gone. Sometimes they switch the orders. One night I ordered like a dessert. Oh like yeah. A, like a cake. And then they switched it with like this entire family's order. So I got like <laughs> I got like five burgers at my doorstep. And I was like, dude, that was me. That was me like a couple weeks ago. I ordered like one happy meal and then I got like three whole pizzas. <laughs> And like I saw the guy walking up away, and then I was like, "Hey, hey, I don't think this is mine." And he just like looked at me, got into his car, and drove off. <laughs> Fuck you! I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me how to do my job. Oh my Drops God. up the entire wrong order. You really do yeah. feel like that, but that's like winning, right? That's like winning. I guess, way. but I was I was really pissed because I really wanted my I really wanted my Happy, happy Meal. meal. <laughs> I still eat Happy Meals too. Yeah. I like the shitty cheeseburger and the Happy Meal. I know. It's not even like a cheese. It's just a burger with like. I think I think the Happy Meal cheeseburger is literally just a burger. Like, there's no there's no it's, like it's cheese just, or onions in it or like. No, no, there's like, onions. There's like there's like a patty and then there's like the onion relish mm -hmm. in it and then ketchup and the pickle. Oh, yeah, pickles. I like McDonald's pickles. pickles. I don't know, man. I like McDonald's <sighs> pickles. Pickles. Yeah. Do you like? Do you not like them? <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> I, I like. I don't like most pickles, but the McDonald's pickles are quite good. We got a question about pickles yeah. later. You're, you'll see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Sheeta and Ray. I was recently diagnosed as lactose intolerant and might have IBS. <laughs> I know Sheena suffers from these things, so Mima, do you have any food tips alternatives Sheena, wait, that you use to limit your stinky uh, tooth <laughs> that I can try to implement in my own diet? I, ha I don't have a tooth problem, guys. I don't know why you guys think <laughs> I have a tooth problem. 
Okay, uh, for a lot of people with IBS, it's not your tooting. It's when you're on the toilet, there's a lot of pain when you're, you know, oh, no. trying to pass your, do your business. Oh, no. But you don't toot. I don't toot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm very shy, okay? I like seize up. I like physically cannot toot. <laughs> if there's someone girls in the don't vicinity. fart. Girls don't fart. What are Especially you about? not refined girls like us. Especially, yeah, in the front of a princess? Oh yeah. my oh gosh. Yeah. The lack of intolerance, lady. my my condolences. Honestly, after after a while you just learn to live with it. Like you just you just learn to not care. Um yeah. and you eat it anyways. Cause you're like you know, you might as well you might as well just pay for it later. You you're gonna have to poop anyways. Yeah, um, I don't know. There's like there's like have you heard of yeah. the FODMAP like diet? What's that? It's like a certain diet. It's called uh, it's like F O D M A P S. It's like a certain diet, like elimination diet. Um, you do that for like two weeks, and then you start reintroducing foods back in and seeing what bothers you. If you've just been diagnosed, you sadly have to live your life really sadly for like a couple weeks <laughs> and figure out what things make it worse, what things you can tolerate, and what amounts. Sometimes it's like not even a thing, it's like an amount. So for yeah. me, onions, typically you're not supposed to eat onions and garlic, but I can tolerate up to a certain amount. You can't like overeat certain things. Yeah, you're on a long journey. You're on a yeah. long journey, my friends. Um, <laughs> Lactose intolerant? Just tolerate it, bro. <laughs> skill issue. <laughs> skill issue, dude. Just tolerate that five head. JK, I avoid dairy at all costs. <laughs> it's, it's one thing I can cut out, but I, I avoid dairy. Um, uh, yeah, but I don't think... I never had to worry about stinky farts. I've never had... <laughs> I've never, like, had that problem, personally. I don't yeah. know. Dairy, dairy is also, yeah. like... Um, if you're worried about your skin, um, cutting out dairy is really good for you. Oh yeah, if you have pimples, just yeah. don't have dairy. It's it's great. Yeah. She is so hard to cut. Okay, I, I feel you because sometimes, you know, like the corn cheese hits different. <laughs> things like that. Corn cheese is so good. You you know, whenever I go to KBBQ, like sometimes they like fill out the corn cheese around the grill. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, yeah. I keep like, I just keep asking for refills. I go like 12 Dude. at a time. And I feel like I every time I ask, I can just feel them like judging me while they're like ladling yeah. it in. Yeah, no, corn cheese is addicting. <laughs> but I have to be drinking so the next day you don't know if it's like the alcohol. Yeah. Groups. Or is it the corn cheese? It's probably both. <laughs> but like you don't want. No, to it cancels out. It. It's okay. It, it cancels, cancels out. Too negative. Yeah, too negative. It's like a positive. positive. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have alcohol poops? Cause that ha this is the thing that happens. I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember a coworker back in the day was like, "Do you have? Do you get the alky shits?" I'm like, "Alky okay, shits. <laughs> what are the alky shits?" It's just like you know when you drink and then you have like poops the next day. I'm like, oh, that's a thing that happens. So yeah, it's it's a thing. Yeah. It's called the alky shits, apparently. I'm like, alchemist poops? <laughs> <laughs> like, alchemist. alchemist poops? No, oh, it's not It's not anything that cool. Mm, yeah. Coffee, coffee does it more. Yeah. Oh, real. Oh, yeah. speaking of coffee. We have face coffee. Buy the face connect coffee yeah, for $35. It. It's so free yeah, shipping. Give them the ASMR. Here. Here. Oh, the crinkle, the bag where, where? crinkle. Can I, can I even... Oh. Oh, yeah. Buy the Face Connect coffee on shop.faceconnect.com Shop Shop.faceconnect.com <laughs> Yeah, alright. That's we did our show. Yeah, thing. we did our plug. Okay. Okay. We get we we get our sponsorship money Sponsor now we're good. Thank you. Thank you for Face Connect for sponsoring this uh stream. And you all should drink it on stream. I don't drink coffee. Um I think I think I think probably having coffee before dinner is not a good idea either, but you know. Maybe someday. I don't even know how you're supposed to make it with coffee beans. Do you just like eat the beans one by one? Wait, you make what? Like, how are you supposed to consume it? Do you just eat the beans, or do you like grind it up and then like you, snort it, or what? You make you make a drink. How do you make a drink with the beans? You crush. They're it. beans. You crush the beans and do a powder. You, what, what do you plant it and then like plant it in the ground and then wait for the leaves to grow and then make tea from the leaves? Thank you for the two dollars super chat. A hyper shout. Hyper shouta. Thank you. Based on the coffee, Colombo approved. What's Real. a Colombo? I have no clue. I I don't know. Maybe I'm scared to see yeah. I don't know. Okay. But thank you. But yeah, you drink it. But I used to drink a lot of coffee when I was an office worker, but 
Roast uh, roast the beans? What do you do? Like you just sit it down to like L plus ratio plus your mom and then and then and then and then what? You drink it? It, it becomes coffee? I don't know. I don't know. You pour hot water over it. You push it through a sieve, and then it's like, oh, it's it's dirt water. Here you go. Also, another thing: if you have IBS, avoid coffee. Oh, true. Yeah, you, it's not great, especially when you're flaring up. A caffeine in general. Don't try not to have caffeine. If you have IBS, it's not a good thing. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I don't drink coffee anymore. Yeah. Um. All right. Programmers, programmers do drink a lot of coffee. If you work in an office with a bunch of like tech people, true, we cannot live without coffee. I feel like coffee is like a really work culture thing, like office it culture. It is. It's Everybody, like, you know, um, I'm gonna go grab a coffee and a bagel um before work at the Starbucks below, stuff like that. No, we're not human before the coffee. <laughs> Nobody wants to be there, and the coffee is like the elixir of life. I can see that. a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I had to have one in the morning and after lunch. Oh my god. Or else I wouldn't be able to make it through. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Nima wing task What? <laughs> Your muscles linking whenever you Mine? lean in. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. It's cute. Yeah, 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 it does this. I don't know why it does that. Um. Oh god, this question. We, do you want to read this one or? Okay, we can we can try to answer it, but I honestly have no idea. Okay, okay. dear Sheena Rie, I have terrible OCD. Oh god, it's so bad. I can't eat anything with more than one texture. Please, if you know any healthy food with only a single texture, no pulp, seeds, layers of food together like salad or pizza, etc. Please save my life by telling me about them. I'm counting on you, no pressure from OC despair. I think at this point, you just hook up an IV to yourself and like... <laughs> take your nutrients through fluid. Yeah, I've, I've never had this issue, but I know a lot of people with like... This is considered a sort of eating disorder. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I can't really help you there. That, you really have to see some sort of a doctor to help you with that. Um, I know, when I was... When I had a phase with eating... Face connect! Face connect! <laughs> well, face Title eating card. problems. <laughs> yeah, I had to drink a lot of like protein drinks. There is this protein shake mm. brand called Ensure. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that don't get enough like food in have to drink it. So mm. um, if you're struggling with that, there's other ways now to get your calories and your nutrients. I would highly recommend at least just getting on that. Cause it is one texture. It's like one shake, right? There's different flavors. Mm -hmm. And at least get your calories in um, and then seek Professional advice to reintroduce yourself to different types of foods yeah. that are good for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess like um, if you're looking if you're looking for foods that have one singular texture, soup is probably a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Soup or like stew, um, you can just like not eat the if if there's like you know meat, you can just yeah. not eat the meats. Just drink the soup. Um, as long as you get your your nutrition in, um, yeah, or you know. Salad. Salad has too many textures. Oh, that's true. You said not like a salad. Not game. like a yeah. salad. Yeah. Unless you just you only eat like lettuce. Like it's just lettuce. And I think it's okay to have all your food like separately. Mm -hmm. Like you could have your sandwich where you can eat the bread by itself and then yeah. you can eat the meat by itself and then you could eat like like you can have like a a a, a set time of the day for like oh today like. At 12 p.m., this is your bread time. <laughs> At 2 p.m., yeah. <laughs> this is your chicken time. You know what they call it in California? Uh, they call it deconstructed. Oh they my call god. It the deconstructed those, like, sandwich. Those bougie cafes with yeah. like deconstructed burgers. <laughs> deconstructed. <laughs> bitch, let me deconstruct your mom. <laughs> it's like you slap that name on it and like. You can price it up twenty dollars. But hey, for someone who's struggling to eat different textures, that's like kind of a lit idea, right? True. Deconstruct your food into like singular textures, and then just eat it one yeah, at a time. Yeah, it's so pretentious. Yeah. It's such yeah. a it's such a millennial thing. Is it? Yeah. It, like it those was. like millennial yeah. um, boutique cafes. Oh, that's Man. a millennial thing now, huh? It is. It really is. What do Zoomers have now? Because the Zoomers don't have like the uh... Zoomers don't make money to like go and that's true. Eat out. That's true. You oh, are. Oh, right. 
There is one place I've been that's it was pretty funny actually. It's called the Karen Diner. What? It's like it's like a diner. Oh. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. It's a diner where like you go in and then like the the, the servers treat you like absolute shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's like there's a tsundere maid cafe. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I was like, they treat you like shit. So you just they like slap the food on. on the yeah. Side. And then they they put like I hate you on the omelet rice. On the omelet rice. Like, me, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of cafe I would run. Yeah. I really want to go next time. Mm. I want to be treated like I want to pay money to be treated like shit. Yeah, cause you know I've been treated yeah. like shit for free for too long. Keeps you humble. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps yeah. you humble. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like my family life. <laughs> your family. You live in a. Cafe. You live in Cinderella Cafe. You yeah. can't romanticize. Your yeah, life. the next time, the next time your your mom's yelling at you for something arbitrary again, just just think to yourself, she's a Cinderella maid and she's yelling like, at me. I know you love yeah. me, mom. I know you love me. Like I know, I know this isn't how you actually feel about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> spit on My your food, food. guarantee. They don't spit in your food. They'll lose their license. For the, for the <laughs> me location. treating the goth GF mommy server at Starbucks like shit so she spits in my coffee. <laughs> you guys are too <laughs> far gone! My god! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright. Would you eat sushi slash sashimi served on top of a naked person? If so, which place would you go for first? Which piece? Which... Okay, depends who the person is, alright? Right. If it's just some random... <laughs> I would eat around all the parts. I would leave the knobs <laughs> and the downstairs. Yeah, if it's uh, if it's not gonna what? So Ew. It's like, uh, Untouchable. Un yeah. If it was Sakuna, all the sashimi has been I like painted. to speak to the manager. <laughs> he's a fish, right? So he he's the sashimi. That's true. He is the sashimi. It's a thing in Japan, I believe, called naked sushi. Yeah, Ooh. no, I don't know. I don't know if the naked body yeah. makes the food taste. Only better. if it's a cute girl, I think. If, if it was just some girl, random. Oh my gosh, later. I would eat super fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's dessert? <laughs> Where's dessert? <laughs> Bruh, if it was Arena, I don't Arena, know. Arena, dude, the food's gonna slide off those yeah. magnificent badonker honker schlonkers. I don't know if it's if it's Remy, then I guess or or. I mean, like, I don't know, Remy doesn't yeah. shower, I don't think. Okay, no, 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 no. The moments, like, no. you put the food on there, it's... It's stingy. It's, it's like the, the... The five second rule doesn't even apply anymore. Yeah. It's just tainted. <laughs> it's tainted! Remy, I know the Doraemons might like that, though. Yeah. Be like, mm. <laughs> it, it adds flavor. <laughs> it adds the, the Remy umami. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The sweat gives it flavor. Oh my god, you guys. All right, rock solid. At listen, if it was Geralt, I would like take my sweet time. <laughs> you know, savor it I would piece savor by piece. it piece by piece. The real, if it was Geralt, but Geralt's kind of stinky too, so I don't know. Yeah, but like, if 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 it's if it's a character you're into, then the stinkiness makes it better. But he yeah. is one of the only characters I've seen in video games I've actually seen take a bath. Oh yeah, there's a bath scene. There's like multiple baths. <laughs> multiple bath scenes. So like. On the flip side, yeah, we do know he does take baths. Okay. Yeah. Mm. At least it's not an uncertain. It's not uncertain. Like, yeah. Remy, have you guys ever seen... Actually, Remy take a shower once on stream, right? Um... I, I, I think I scrubbed that <laughs> off my memory. <laughs> There's just like a blank in my mind where that was. I think I, think yeah. I got brainwashed by the Men in Black. Yeah. Thing. People are like, where'd you get your idea for your bathtub stream? I'm like, Geralt? <laughs> Geralt had a bathtub stream. Yeah, he had a bathtub scene. Yeah, so, so. So, I have a bathtub scene now. We're basically we're, married. We're just the same, for <laughs> yeah. real. For real, yeah. for real. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, next question. What's a good way to cook without turning the kitchen into an oven? I suffer from a skin disease and being in hot temperatures make me really itchy and might get stuff in places they probably shouldn't be. Don't- aren't there like vents for that? Like- There's a fan? Yeah, there's you like open the, the windows. Oh yeah, if you don't have that, you can open windows. But like, isn't there like usually a um, vent on top of the stove? 
yeah, there, it's a, there's a fan, but it still gets hot on the summer. I guess so. I only, I don't, I try not to like cook warm foods during the summer. I eat a lot of salads during the summer because I hate mm. getting um, the place warm. Mm, and then sometimes like when you're like frying stuff, it makes like everything feel so like greasy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't know. I would, I would try to uh, open the windows. There's not really anything else you can do with the temperature. It's just, it's just you know, mm -hmm. physics and science. Yeah, um, your house is probably just not insulated well. Yeah, yeah <laughs> there's that. Um, there's like caprese salad you can make. Caprese? Caprese? Capri? Caprice? Caprice? It's like a mozzarella with oh, mozzarella. tomato and basil. And tomato. And the basil. Yeah, pasta. It's really pasta good. And it, all you need to do Mama is really yeah. boil the pasta. That's the only cooking you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, open, open all the windows. Open all the windows. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. Um, let's see. What is your guys' all-time favorite dish? Like, you can eat without being tired of it. Oof. What's yours? Ooh, what's mine? I have to... I have, like, a few favorite foods, I think. I think my favorite food is this... It's a beef stew that um, my family makes. And that, like, I, I crave every time I'm, like... I'm feeling depressed or whatever it's called, like uh Gaibi Jim. It's like Gaibi <gasps> Jim! Yeah. That's so good. It's like braised meat with um, mushrooms, carrots, and vegetables. Yeah. The water chestnut. Mm. And like the the soup, you usually eat it with rice because like it's kind yeah. of it's kind of sweet. It's a little um, I love Gaibi Jim. my beloved. But it's so expensive. I rarely make it. It is, it is. Yeah. It takes quite a bit of effort, and it's like so if you good. if you go to a restaurant for it, it's also usually like one of the more expensive dishes. Yeah, yeah. You can make it in your crock pot. I mm. make it in my crock pot. It's so good. It's a Korean thing. Yeah, uh, that's I would say food. that too. I like beef a lot. Mm. Um, I have a slight allergy to beef, so I thought it was that. to the onion. Yeah, it was like a combination of things. Mm. But my mom sent me her labs, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm actually." Slightly allergic to beef, so you should get it checked. So I'm like, oh, it's a high chance, so can't have too much. But Maybe if like I that. could, I would have beef every single day of my life. So. Have beef stroganoff and curry. <laughs> I like stroganoff too. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second! Wait a second! Stroganoff, you're wrong! <laughs> so god. Got him. It's like another polishing your jewels moment on my stream. <laughs> The last time Nova was here, she's like, yeah, talking about polishing your jewels. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is it always on my stream? Yeah, okay, Nova, beef uh, joganov actually is really good. It is actually it really is good. Slaps. I can actually eat that every single day. <laughs> Do you know the hamburger helper beef joganov? It has no business being what that is good. Is it from like a, a... It's a box. You get it from Walmart and it's like, it comes with the pasta and the seasoning and all you do is you put milk and beef like in it. Or mushrooms if it you sounds want. Sounds good. Oh my god, it has no business being that, that good. That sounds good. Yeah, really easy to make. Highly recommend if you're poor and not lactose intolerant. <laughs> the hamburger helper beef stroganoff. Oh my god, perfection. I don't have any single favorite. The thing that really makes any food the best is the company you're with and the saying you're in. That is true. I feel like food is one of the things that like brings people together the most. Like, you know. It's less awkward if you're eating with someone than if you're just like sitting there talking with them. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what, what, what was the question? The next uh, one? Um, this one? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, we, 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 did, we did kind of... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Let's go I'll down here. Uh, oh. oh, there's a workout one that might be good for you. Yeah, you want to read it out? Okay. Dear Shinari, I have just started to work out for general health recently. I feel like I'm really struggling with nutrition though. I'm not a vegetarian, but I generally don't like the taste of healthy meat, nuts, eggs. Do I just have to suck it up and eat the stuff I dislike? Or do you think I can get enough protein through beans and milk stuffs? Anyways, glad to see you streams I can't face after the first three of these Q&A ah! oh, It's actually, your lucky day! There's a lot of vegetarians who could get really buff. You know, you can get all of your protein through uh, like lentils and like... Uh, vegan and vegetarian tofu. tofu options. You can totally do that. Um, how do you see again the protein? Basically, that was a question, right? You totally can. It's just a matter of um, 
finding the recipes. <coughs> I'll see you. Thank you. Any, any, any recipe that you find that has like teriyaki chicken, you can make teriyaki tofu. Mm, teriyaki, can, anything is anything good. Anything is so good. You can do air fried crispy tofu. Oh, I made that before. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, I miss like, you know, like the crispy tofu you can get in like street food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So good with some hot sauce. So good. Mm. But yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of vegetarian options. I was vegan for like six solid months mm. before. And yeah, it was quite easy to get your protein if you like eating beans and lentils and tofu. And, and I feel like there's a lot stuff. of like, um, mm. What, those protein shakes that are vegan nowadays? Yeah, but like, they don't like the taste of healthy food. So. Oh, that's true. To be fair, but like, protein, most protein shakes don't even taste like healthy stuff anyways. Like, there are a lot, there are a lot of, um, like, flavored ones these days that are, just taste like a regular milkshake or something. But they do, they do. Yeah, gorillas don't eat meat in their They food. don't? No, they don't. Yeah, they're oh my God. plants. You can get really buff off of plants. You just have Maybe to they eat bugs. You they, get their, <laughs> they get their protein from bugs. I have no clue, honestly. But yeah, you can. You can. You just got to eat a lot uh, more. So you got to like watch your intake and your nutrition otherwise. But um, I don't think you have to worry about having to eat meat and stuff like that. Mm. There's like, if you go on YouTube, I see there's some... Um, those fitness people who are only vegan and they get like ripped so um, it's possible it's just you're just gonna have to do a little more research and like uh, make sure you're getting your macros in. Mm. Mm. yeah 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 um yeah you just gotta get your essential nutrients that's all you gotta worry about your correct calories yeah mm. yeah no bugs they don't eat bugs <laughs> you don't eat bugs why not bugs yeah. are great yeah, don't don't <laughs> like believe everything about like the fitness uh, gurus you see online. Some of them are definitely doing. They're not natty, my bro. No, <laughs> they're not natty. They're doing like uh, steroids. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah yeah yeah. They're not natural. Mm, okay. What's um, the sketchiest thing you ever ate? For example, gas station sushi. <laughs> gas station sushi. <laughs> what is the sketchiest thing I ate? Let me think. Oh, I I think I was I was on holiday uh -huh. this one time um in Taiwan and they had like it was okay it was like really late at night and mm -hmm. we were hungry so we went from our hotel to like the night market yeah and it was like what two a.m. so we wanted to get like just um you know like uh, shao kao. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, barbecue. Yeah, barbecue stick things like skewers. Yeah. So we 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 pull up to the skewer shop and they only have like one type of skewer and the the label is just meat. It's, it doesn't <laughs> even tell you like what it's kind. just bro. It doesn't say like what kind of meat. if it's like beef or chicken. It just it's just meat. Just meat. And like you know we were we were kind of sus on it, but Did like you we ask? were I mean, like, the guy kind of looked like he was, you know, high out of his mind. Um, and it was, like, kind of late. We just wanted food, so we got it. Honestly, it's probably human meat. Uh, human it might, meat? It might, it, might, it might have been human meat. <laughs> I don't think this is that sketchy. Mystery but meat. Yeah. For me, you know when you go to Walmart and there's that one guy selling tamales out of his, like, oh. van? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, that guy has no license, but sometimes your girl just wants yeah, a homemade tamale. You want a tamale, you right? You go to the Walmart parking lot, and you're like, hey, bro, can I grab one? You give him a dollar? Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of sus, but they're really good. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I wouldn't risk it now. <laughs> but, yeah, the Walmart uh, parking lot tamales, if you know, you know. Based in cannibalism yeah. pill. <laughs> Not on purpose, okay? I, I I only have a suspicion that it was human meat, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna confirm or deny anything. But thank you for your two dollar <laughs> soup. Yeah. But thank you, Ember. I really appreciate it. Soilent Green. Do you oh, know what Soilent Green is? What is it? It's like this old science fiction where they're like, uh, like they're 
uh, they made this product that's like, oh, it's like you get all your nutrients from this one thing. But it turns out it's like people. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I like agree. It's people. It sounds like something that would happen these days. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. Hello, just 13. Brain. Yeah. It just says brain. Yeah, brain. Totally brain. Just, just brain. Hey, from the hospital. Oh no, I need this stream to be 96 hours long. Both of your voices really soothe my headaches and no ASMR can do. Not as efficiently. Hello, Sheen and Ray. Call me. Alright, you heard him. We're gonna be here for the next couple days. I'm um, hungry. I only <laughs> have like a singular egg today. But, but I hope you're okay. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're okay. I, I don't know if you're sick, but if you are, I hope you get better yeah, here, soon. Here's a get well soon. Yeah. Get well soon. Yeah. Get well soon. I only had one tea egg this morning and a cup of soy milk. I think I yeah. had I had like a milk tea and milk tea sugar. Like an, yeah. Oh my god. I have to be young. <laughs> See, in sugar. I need I need sugar instead of caffeine. Oh my gosh. It keeps me on my toes. Yeah, I can't eat like that anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. Let's Are we see. gonna answer this one? Yeah. Would, veg <laughs> Would vegetarians eating pussy make them not vegetarian? I mean, it's still meat. Okay, but you're not eating you're it. You're not ingesting it. Unless like you're taking a bite out of your out of your girlfriend's cookie. Then you're you know? eating it raw. <laughs> <laughs> You don't eat like animal or animal byproducts, right? Yeah, but they don't count humans <laughs> as animals. I don't think. I don't know. Any because vegan, any vegan chat that can. If you own spit, are you no longer vegan? <gasps> Checkmate, ATS. <Checkmate. laughs> are you no longer vegan? No. How does this work? Body fluids are not animal byproducts. Exactly. I don't know. Honey is vegan because of bees' consent. <laughs> Did you ask them individually every single bee in the colony? I think it depends on which kind of vegan you talk to. Some vegans don't eat honey, and some do. Mm. Yeah. Humans can consent, animals can't. Yeah. So, so if 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 the animal said yes and the vegan ate the animal, then they would still be vegan. Hmm. So, if, so what you're saying is, if you're cannibalism and the person's like, yeah, you can eat me. That you're still vegan? Yeah, then you're still vegan. I don't know, man. This is mental gymnastics. Yeah. Mental gymnastics. I don't know. Okay. Did you know there's ash in dog food's ingredients? Like what? Like, like what? Cigarette ash? Like ash. Like what kind of ash? What kind of ash? I know they put a lot of filler in a lot of shitty dog food. Yeah, like most dog food yeah. is not nutritious at all. Mm. You should be. You should really be either like buying um. Like the raw food for your dogs that they're not allergic. Human ashes. Or... Human ashes. <laughs> oh my god! No, that's, that's yeah. A... No, my dog is like really spoiled. Um, every every night for dinner, he gets a like handmade meal. Like he'll get like chicken that's like shredded just for him. Yeah, it cooled yeah. down. Yeah, cooled down, and then like so like when and then whenever he hears like. Scissors snipping. Yeah. When he hears a snip, he comes like running to the kitchen, like all ready to eat and everything. So spoiled. Yeah. They get their vegetables to mix. He has vegetables, and then he gets like protein powder on top of it. Yeah. So spoiled. So spoiled. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. he eats better than I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Typically, yeah. I I don't think you should be feeding like the cheapest dog feed to your dog. It's there. It really causes cancer and stuff mm. too. So. Um, yeah, I, I knew there was a lot of fillers. I didn't know Ash was one of them, though. I wonder, yeah. like, what Ash? <gasps> a fly probably went and committed the unalive up in the light. Wait, was lights. it was it was it a fly or like a bee or what? No, it's some. A fly went up into the light. Oh, rest yeah. in peace, my homie. You couldn't resist. <laughs> the lamp, you know. Sorry, whenever I hear something flying, I like it activates my. My my like fight or flight yeah. instinct like 
anything remotely wasp-like or hornet-like, I immediately freeze up. Yeah, poor thing. <laughs> it, it. Amen. He unhumid. He unhumid. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um. Should we answer this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, hello, Mima and Princess. It's not Mima. It's just Mima. It's Mima. <laughs> Mima and Princess. I hope you guys are having fun. As for the question, what is the weirdest food you've ever wanted to try? For me personally, it's stir fried termite. I thought it would be disgusting, but it honestly tasted like popcorn. Very brave of you, my friend. I wouldn't want to eat it again if I can, though. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you put in your mouth? Oh, you really want to know? <laughs> no, but for the sake of entertainment. Yes. I ate concrete. Um, Wait, did you have to see the doctor? Are you okay? I, I mean, there are many things I ate and I did not see the doctor for and I'm still here, so... You know, I think I, think, I, think I turned that well. Um, so basically the story is that like, some people were doing construction outside on the pavement and you know like me as a kid I was like running around um my brother decided to trip me and I fell face first into the concrete while it was still wet and you were just like eat tadaki mas yeah instead instead of like just getting up and walking it off I, <laughs> I had a I, I had a, I had an intrusive thought <laughs> and sometimes when you let your intrusive thoughts win um you like concrete. Yeah, you like concrete. So I. <laughs> Interesting. There's probably still like a, a little like face imprint of me on the on the on the pavement where I used to live. So. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Did it taste like anything? Is it just just tasted like rocks? Like rocks. Okay, yeah, yeah I've licked a rock before. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're a kid, you know you're like ooh smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> the royal the, yeah. The Regalia Kingdom emblem. Yeah. It's just my face yeah. on the concrete. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I think I, I've had snake. It's like bony chicken. Oh yeah, I think I think bony I've had snake chicken. as well. Snake and crocodile. Snake and crocodile. Yeah. Have you had like snake wine? I've seen it, but I've never had it. It's so like, freaky. I've seen, yeah, it is. It is kind of freaky. <laughs> yeah, me and my grandma, we've had snake. They like they like bottle it up and the whole ass snake is still there, right? Yeah. yeah. They put the snake in there and then you just brew the alcohol on in with the snake in it and then Yeah. Yeah, I don't know I don't know what it, if it imparts flavor, but it's just kinda freaky. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's bodily fluids do something. I have no clue. Definitely not bodily vegan. fluid. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Ew. not vegan. I don't know why. <laughs> this is the stuff people do. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> what is what the hell was that? <laughs> he is gonna die, bro. I don't oh, know. Oh, that was the biggest fly I've ever freaking seen in my goddamn life. I don't <laughs> think that's a fly. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe a moth. It's seeking land. Dude, it's so big. Where'd it go? <laughs> I think I think it's like they're on the, oh, it's the lamp. lamp. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Alright, alright. Oh, oh, thought we were gonna die for a second there. Oh, oh my life crashed. Crap. I'm so sorry to the guy that said like he was going to like go under surgery and was like, your voices are so, are so soothing. To us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm deaf. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my god! Sorry, yeah, sorry. It was a moth seeking lamp. Yes, it was really big. It was huge! It was huge. Oh, it's not a, at least it's not a spider. There's some pretty big spiders oh, here in Canada. There's a reason I'm not scared of spiders. I'm okay oh, spiders. really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's some really yeah, like things ones. that fly and things that crawl like like caterpillars. Like I don't Oh yeah. I don't like the way they move. There's something yeah, there's something there's suspicious something... about the way they move. <laughs> I don't mind moths, I don't know, but when they fly it's yeah, like mo moths, moths are okay. Mm -hmm. Some of them are kind of cute, but like when they fly, I. I... <laughs> okay. okay. Anyways, uh, would Sheena drink pilk made from hime? Okay, but when you when you phrase it like that, you can it, it kind of sounds like the milk is like extracted from me, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't it doesn't you sound like, vegan? Shouldn't you say like pilk made by hime, not from hime? From? I don't know. I've never had pilk. 
But you'd have to replace the milk. It's not with as the bad soy. as people make it out to be. Like it's honestly like, have you ever had like cream soda with milk? Yeah, like root beer float. Right? Yeah, yeah, root beer float. It's kind of like that. Oh, that's not that. Bad. <laughs> that or the Pe- yeah, it's either the milk or the Pepsi that's made from me. <laughs> Hema milk. I, I'll I'll give everything a try once. Yeah, I'm not don't don't that. don't knock it till you try it, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Hema milk, but she's like, wait, what? She has nothing there. She has boobs, dude. She's just not wearing a bra. I just have sack. How many times do I have to say this? I just have saggy tits. She just have saggy tits. It just really do feel like that sometimes. It, it really do. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, I I don't think I don't, you. I, I don't, don't think want, you I'm not gonna read that. that. You guys really be reading books on like a lot of bodily fluids. Very unvegan of you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Today, I wanted to eat a croissant. Croissant! <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here's the eating ass one. Oh, it's, okay, you uh, read it, you read it. I can't read it. Question for Rie. Is eating ass a nutritionally sound diet? Yes, I am a verified professional nu- diet- dietitian and I... Hereby recommend that you eat ass for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single meal, every single day of your life. It's gonna lead you to live a very healthy lifestyle. I am Sheena, and I do not endorse this method. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know enough about eating ass to know its um nutritious nutritional benefits. I would think that was that would be a fast way to get like. This is how you get. Some, oh my god! I remember. I remember. Like, I think I went to the doctor one day. Told me they they told me I had worms in my stomach. And that was that was why. Like, whenever I ate, I didn't feel like full afterwards. Wait, you? You had <laughs> you take worms? I think so. I think I think um. For 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 a period of time, me and my brother had tapeworms because we ate something bad. We ate like meat that was like huh? kind of bad, and then we had like tapeworms. And because like we were eating like unnatural. This is when I was like really young, by the way. We were eating like an unnatural amount for our age, for our size. Uh-huh. So then like we like my mom took us to the doctor, and they're like, "Oh yeah, you have tapeworms. Here, eat this. Take this pill, and it's gonna go away." But yeah. Your mom had to deworm you like you were a puppy. Yeah, basically like we were kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta deworm all the little princesses. Yeah, princess, here we go. Oh my gosh. Do you, have wor- Do you have worms in your skin? Oh no, I had I had a uh, skin mites. Not Wait, worms. Wait, skin mites? Um, they're called uh, bro, they're called but like uh, from dirty sheets and stuff. I stayed at like a hotel for, oh. for a convention. And you can get like skin mites and they burrow Is it? under your skin, make you super itchy. I see it. Yeah, but they're not worms. They're they're like actual little a little mite. Like, like bed bug. bed bugs? Not bed bugs. Um, scabies. 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 I've had scabies. Oh my god. Yeah, it was really gross. Yeah, I th- I thought scabies was like another form of rabies. No, no, <laughs> it's it's uh it's just like a mite infection that humans can get. Yeah. Ever wonder if you had one of those brain parasites? Probably. You would be dead. Oh. Uh, I think I, I'm built different. I think if I if I had a brain parasite, it would probably like <laughs> it's gonna come in my brain and then like see the kind of things I think about and then like immediately exit out of my <laughs> ear or something. You know, it would start. <laughs> it, it would start. <laughs> <with nothing there. laughs> Maybe that'd be true for Irie. Yeah, that's probably why. You know. Maybe maybe that. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing Poor in thing. there. Poor thing. Poor thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Okay, you know if you're if you're in like North America, if you go in like uh like a lake and stuff, yeah. don't put your head underwater. Why? If if so, if the brain eating amoeba gets in. <gasps> Wait, yeah. that's real? It's real. Yeah, don't put your head under the water. Ew. Yeah, it's, it's real, man. It's real. <laughs> and there's no cure. Oh. There's no cure. Most people, like 95 percent of the people, die. Oh my god! It. So that's why I don't swim in lakes anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Real. Oh what parts? God. I think it's, it's present mostly everywhere. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, how how common is it? Like, uh, it's quite rare, but there's always a chance. Okay, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That is that is spooky. It's spooky. This is some spooky stuff. Um, mm -hmm. can you, either of you think of any food or dishes that you hated as a kid but absolutely love now? Or anything from your childhood that you love but can't stand eating nowadays? Mm. For me, it was oysters and like mussels. Oh yeah, I get, I get that. Yeah, I hated shellfish when I was a kid. But now, it's like, mm, mussels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was me with like, I think shellfish as well. Like crab and... and um. Yeah, I used to not like crab when I was younger, mostly because it was a hassle to eat. Like it's a hassle to get out, and you know I'm, I'm kind of spoiled. I love eating <laughs> but, crab. But yeah, now now honestly, I would die for like a good like um, what steamed crab like with the with the Ooh! like the yellow what was it called like the yellow stuff? Is it like their brain? I don't know. I just call it the crab butter. Yeah, yeah, like like the paste. The, the crab the butter. butter is so good. It's so good. Oh, have you ever had the raw crab? The Korean raw crab? Oh, the one... Uh, They have it in like a soy sauce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On rice with the raw egg. Oh mm. my god. That was good. So good. So good. And especially when they're in season and they got like the crab butter. Woo! Oh, so good. The eggs. Mm. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, I think a shellfish is was an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah. Um. What is it? Uh. Another concrete eater. <laughs> maybe maybe you should read this. No, one. no. Okay, fine. Dear Shin and Rie, my appetite can wildly swing between hungry and nauseous. Just thinking about food. These feelings can last for several days, especially in the case of the latter. How do I rein it in? Are there any simple meals you recommend for these moments? I'm often struck by the dreaded Tommy Hort when I'm not up to eating, so forcing myself to eat doesn't work out so well. Thank you, a certain concrete eater's kidnapping victim. Okay, for the record, um, I have not kidnapped anyone. Uh, FBI is just a joke. Please don't swap me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got any skeletons in my closet, so so hmm. so please That's call off the raid. Say. Please call off the raid. Um, my my aunt is gonna be really mad if <laughs> people come into my house. So it says what? Um, last for several days. How do I rein it in? Um, I like right now I'm in this that. Like, super unhungry phase. In these cases, I just eat very little, twice a day. I just think my goal is to eat something. You don't have to eat a full meal, but you have to eat something. Mm -hmm. Like twice a day. So I had a tiny breakfast today. Now I'm finally feeling a little hungry. So we're going to have dinner. Yeah. I think like yeah. sometimes... Well, I get that too. Because sometimes like um, if I'm not hungry at all, feel nauseous just thinking about eating, I just like, you know, drink some fluids. At least get some fluids in you. Yeah. Because it kind of does fill your tummy a little bit. So at least like, you know, it's not gonna hurt um, too bad. Um, it's, I don't know. I think it's overrated when people say you should, you should be eating like this, like your breakfast every day. It's like, you don't need to if you're not hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the, the, yeah. The, the, the concept of just like eating when you're hungry, when you're hungry. and until you're full is, is pretty, is a pretty it's good pretty thing healthy. to live by. Yeah. yeah it's, it's healthy Like don't, don't way. force yourself to eat and don't like overstuff yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. At least make sure your stomach doesn't stay empty, yeah. Yeah, you have hunger signals for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. Listen to them. You're meant to swing wildly between not hungry and feeling hungry. That means you have working hunger signals. Mm -hmm. That's a very fortunate thing to have. If you mess those up, um, you have a lot of issues. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like simple meals that like you can have if you're kind of like, um, like you don't want to eat but you want something in your tummy anyways. Again, soup. Soup is great. Miso soup and rice. Yeah, I have that a lot. But, um, rice is rice is a good filler. Yeah. Yeah, just anything. I mean, there's like you can make a sandwich, you can make a stir fry, really quick. I have I a lot of stir fry. In years because I'm not hungry in the morning. Honestly, yeah. same. But also because I'm not awake in the morning. Oh yeah, me too. Schedule, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't eaten breakfast in years because I'm not hungry in the morning. No, it really do be like that. You don't need to if you're not hungry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I talked to some like bodybuilders who 
Some of them just aren't hungry when they get up, so they don't yeah. they don't eat breakfast. Just eat when you're hungry. It's healthier that way. Mm. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh okay. Tummy hort question. I think feel like we had a tummy hort question earlier. Yeah, the IBS mm. one. Yeah. Um, thank you for your five dollars oh, super yeah. ember. Hunger is just an urge like pain. It can be ignored or no. learn to be enjoyed. Don't ignore no. hunger. Eat when you're hungry. <gasps> otherwise, hungry. otherwise, you know, Tommy gonna hoard and you don't want that. You don't want Tommy hoard. Mm. Let's see. What the fuck? Is a guy required to wear shorts or a skirt in order for bussy to be considered food? I I don't think so. I don't I don't think I don't think the clothes really right has any bearing on whether or not dude bussy is bussy like you can <laughs> you can have you know fanboy bussy or you can have like dilf bussy like it's still the same it's still all Why bussy. are you so knowledgeable about this? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you so knowledgeable about this? This is just, I feel I feel like for some reason I feel like you or Leah would have the most we are bussy connoisseurs. Bussy connoisseurs. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he meant vetoes love bussy. They do. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. I think the cookies. <laughs> I don't think the cookies have the same love. They cringe every time I see. Yeah, bussy. you can have you can have chicken in a burger or chicken in a taco. It's still chicken. Exactly. You can have bussy in a short, bussy in pants, or bussy in a skirt. It's still bussy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, FBI. <laughs> FBI. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, let's see. Um. I'm tired of making the same foods every week. I have lost my creativity for cooking. Can you please provide some guidance to find my food vibes again? I live a very boring life and cook the same 10 meals on rotation until I get bored. So, uh, but sometimes I would like to go, I go online to search up certain things I would like to eat, like beef. Mm, beef recipe. I think a good a good place to start is like um you know those like ASMR cooking channels by yeah! like those like Japanese people. Yeah, the Japanese yeah. ASMR cooking channels. Honestly, those during the pandemic were like some of the best things that I've ever like tried to make. Yeah. Like you remember when Dalgona coffee was like a real yeah, like, yeah. really big thing. Yeah, it was yeah. a thing. That was really good. And like um they have a lot of uh like cooking channels where you just feel like it makes it makes like the cooking experience better yeah. as well. There's like the Korean like homebody mm -hmm. lifestyle channels too. Yeah. All they do is cook. All they do and is it's cook. so good. And it's like you can learn a lot of like simple They're also recipes. yeah, they're simple as well. They're not like <gasps> super lavish. The different kimbap. I love making kimbap. Kimbap is so good because you can literally yeah. make it with so many things. Mm -hmm. Same with like rice balls. Yeah, very easy. Very easy meal, especially when you're busy. Mm. It's like you can make a lot of it in the store. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, huh. What about this one? Yeah, let, let's do. You can read that. Okay. What kind of cuisine is best for a first date? And assuming it gets oh. far enough that you invite them over to cook for them on a future date, what meal would you recommend cooking? Mm. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. Wait for so it's, it's a date, so you have to, if you're cooking, it has to be multiple courses. That's true. Okay, but for a first yeah. date, I think as long as it's not finger food, yeah, the, the, as long as it's not messy, as long as it's not finger food. So like something you can eat with a fork and knife. Mm, I would say that's why that's why most people like what they do like wine and dine. For, like, you can't go wrong with pasta and then a, a meat. Mm. I think ideally it would be like. It would be a salad, right? And then we would go into a uh, some penne pasta or like a uh, rotini type pasta. Um, it could be anything because you can eat that really easily. It doesn't get messy. Yeah. Don't pick noodles and spaghetti because that gets everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I would you would have like a little bit of steak too and some wine and prepare a dessert. Oh yeah. She's probably not gonna eat it all, but the fact <laughs> that you prepared it will have probably moved her heart. I think it's also so. like really fun to do yeah. like um you know sometimes when you go like on a, a market and they have like food stalls. I think that'd be cute as well. Food stalls, they don't really have those in NA though. Really? Yeah, 
really oh have. my god no i learned about like the the food trucks that you guys have during like state fairs oh do you guys yeah, have fried butter you gotta go to texas fried butter yeah i've never i've never been um, but yeah, if you go to Texas, there's these huge state fairs. They'll deep fry anything. Oh my god. <laughs> deep fry anything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't know. I think it would be cute, but not as like a first thing. <laughs> Waffle you, you House. Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that mean anyways? Well, isn't it like what people... People have fights at Waffle House. Like they, they, oh, be, yeah. like they beat each other up at Waffle House. No, I know that Waffle House stays open no matter what. Oh yeah, like even if it's like a fucking hurricane. Yeah, they'll like you still have to go to work at your Waffle House. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never been. One yeah, of these so days. if the Waffle House is closed, you know you're fucked. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely fucked. Fried Oreos. I, I don't know. Waffle House is is the PVP zone. <laughs> <laughs> Open PvP arena. Open PvP zone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Do you ever eat raw spinach leaves while pre pre pretending you're a herbivore or like a dinosaur? Yes. You do you? So I I think when I when I was small, I used to like eat salad and pretend I was like a turtle going. Like, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, that. yeah, or like a cow. I can't eat spinach anymore, so it doesn't mm. happen. I get kidney stones. I oh no! Spinach. Yeah, so I, it's not really something I do anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretend you're a dinosaur. A dinosaur, yeah, like from those cartoons, right? How yeah, when you're a kid. Pizza, do you think you could eat before you? Okay, here's a here's a before here's you a die? controversial here's a here's a controversial take. Okay. I don't like pizza. You don't like pizza? I don't like pizza. Not only do I not like pizza, I don't like waffles. I don't like. Pancakes? You're not a bread person. <laughs> I'm not a bread person. That's probably a good trait to have. Yeah. Yeah. Those are all things that make I you said grow this yesterday sideways. and I got crucified for it. But I stand by it. That's a good trait. That means she can it's easier for her to stay healthy. Yeah. Yeah. I live a celiac a, a celiac diet. <laughs> yeah. This honestly it doesn't destroy your insides, see? I like all those foods, and I shouldn't be eating them. So, yeah. There's what's a that. what's a what's a what's a controversial food take do you have, that you have? I hate ranch. <gasps> ranch dressing. Oh my is god! Trash. Texans, don't look. I know. <laughs> Texans, I don't look away. Like ranch. It's gross. It's a gross condiment. <laughs> but I I have there's a short explaining why. So, yeah. <laughs> I I get it though. Yeah. I feel like. You know, like sometimes you go to like um, chicken places, they have ranch. I feel like it would hit better if it was like barbecue sauce. Exactly. Or like, or like you know, sour cream or something like that. I don't mind ranch flavoring. Like if it's mm. a Dorito, Cool Ranch Dorito. Oh, Cool Ranch is great. It's great, but I don't like the actual like dip, the buttermilk. It's so gross. Yeah. Yeah. The blue cheese is gross too. Blue cheese and ranch is like the most. I've never had blue Bio. cheese. I think. It's just moldy cheese. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't it like the guy who discovered penicillin? He got it from like the moldy che cheese. I think so. I don't know. I wouldn't doubt it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like blue cheese. Gross mold. You guys like eating mold? I'm judging you. <laughs> I'm judging you. It's a, you guys like eating mold. You guys call us mold connect, but you guys I are just mold have connect. ranch when there's nothing else. Like you just eat like. Straight so ranch? I, to be fair, I drink ketchup, so like... Okay, fair. To be fair, Honey like, mustard super... Real! Honey oh, mustard's I, great. Yeah, I do like honey mustard. Or, you know what I've recently discovered? The Chick-fil-A sauce. It's the good. Sour one? The Polynesian? I don't know, it's, it's like yellow. Yellow? Oh, I don't know what that is. I know what the Polynesian sauce oh, is. I recently discovered that, um... Because, because we have it, like, they sell it in bottles and we had it in our fridge. And I didn't have anything to go with my fries, so I just put it on a dish. It's good. I just go to Chick Fil A for the waffle fries. Mm. I don't really eat the chicken. I don't know. I don't mm. have one mention of mayonnaise. Here you go. Here's your here's your puke. Here's your puke content. Mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise if it's cutey. Wasn't there a guy who like put mayonnaise on his hair? What's his name? Like No Neck Ed. What? There's there's this guy who went viral for like um. Okay, first he was like a piece of shit, but like um. He put mayonnaise in his hair, and then he said like it was—it was like it makes it—it it makes it like um, smoother or something. I mean, I can 
see that. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, I can see. I can see. I don't think that's that weird. For the mayo and hair? Yeah. Because it's just oil and egg. Ugh. Whipped up. Ugh. And like, I've had weirder hair masks. Wait, there's there's egg in mayo. Okay, no yeah. wonder I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's egg. It's like an <gasps> egg whipped up with oil. That's how you make mayo. I see. Yeah. And if you're a fancy LA person, you're gonna say, it's aioli. <laughs> aioli? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Is that it's mayo made. in Italian or something? I have no oh idea, God. but I just know it like when I go to a restaurant and it says garlic something aioli. Roasted garlic aioli. I'm like, it's freaking garlic mayo. <laughs> it's always garlic mayo. Garlic mayo. And then yeah. you slap a name on it and price of twenty dollars easy. Easy. Yeah, with the naming. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> Oh, did you eat today? Have you hydrated recently? You sure you got enough to eat? You two are nothing but skin and bone. Eat sure to get in our healthy. It just breaks my old little heart seeing you like you haven't eaten all week. Please don't read. Am I the grandma or are you the yeah. grandma? We just came off the this, lunar is grandma, new year. Is this, Yeah, dude. We got stuffed full of like... <laughs> like, what, what's it called? The lovago? Um... Oh, like, oh, the turnip cake. Yeah, the turnip cake. We have stuff full of turnip, turnip cake, cake full of, um, um, like, uh, the roasted pork. Rice cake. Rice, rice cakes, um, dumplings, uh, what, what's it called? Snacks, yeah. cookies. Literally, we are, we are living our best life. Yeah. Right now, are. okay? We're gonna gain, like, at least five pounds from this trip, so don't <laughs> worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mm. Yeah, New Year food, you know, the banquets. So many the, fried carbs. Like fried lotus seeds and yeah. um, what else? I don't know, but like everything, everything, everything you can think of that you would find in like a Chinese New Year um, banquet. We've been, we've been like, sh We've you know, been stuffed, man. Yeah. And then right after this, we're gonna get dinner. So mm. I don't know what we're gonna eat yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. There's like so many questions. Where I like, how many cans of Monster a day is too many cans of Monster a day? If you have to ask that, what? I think there's already a problem. Exactly. I didn't. I don't even drink Monster. <laughs> I've only drank it in my whole life. I've only drank one can of Monster, and it's because they gave it to me for free at a promo event. I don't think I've ever had Monster before. It tastes. I generally don't go for energy drinks mm -hmm. unless it's like Bacardi Sweat. Bacardi Sweat's good. Yeah. Yeah, it, I don't think Bakura Sweat is like an energy drink. It's like more akin to Gatorade. Kind of. Yeah. Like a sports drink. Yeah. But like Monster, I just remember saying that it tasted like sweet and spit. <laughs> like it has this like weird aroma to it. It's just it kind of has like a spit sort of smell. You know? Like saliva. I... Gross. Okay, hey, now you say that, I don't think I want to try it. Yeah, Red Bull too. It's like human gasoline. <laughs> it's gross! I don't understand why people drink such things. <sighs> Just drink yeah. coffee. Oh my it's god. The, the, the gamers. It's it has like, a yeah. It, it does. It does has, have an aroma, I think. An aroma. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, let's see, I just want to see if there's any like important questions that um this one maybe okay i am six five and probably need a greater amount of calories than an average person How, what does your mom feed you holy crap <laughs> six five jesus christ i was like trying to convert that in my brain and i'm just realizing oh that's, my god that's tall that's a giant but healthy foods like veggies have a low amount of calories. When I eat a seemingly large meal that is healthy, I usually end up feeling hungry after. Are you aware or of some way to get higher amount of calories or calories that make you feel full um, and still healthy and not too expensive? You're out of luck, my friend. You know when you raise a really large pet, like a really large dog? <laughs> you have or like, to spend like more... livestock. Yeah, like you're going to spend a lot of money on food. You are just lost the genetic lottery for your uh, efficiency you yeah know? if you eat veggies they work through your body really fast so you have to eat a lot of proteins to keep full throughout the day so sadly you're just gonna have to spend more money and some carbs yeah 
Um, rice? Hard for instant Bread? energy, but yeah, you want to eat a lot of meat and Time stuff. Time to guzzle water. Yeah, drink yeah. water is also good. Mm. Yeah. Six to five, last to genetic the lot In terms lottery. of, In terms of, of cost wallet. effectiveness, okay? Yeah. Cost effectiveness. I'm sure, I'm sure. Protein powder just eats straight from the can. <laughs> Protein powder? Yeah, protein powder. But that's powder. also expensive. It is very expensive too. For a 6'5 person? Yeah, I don't know. If you're trying to save money, that's definitely not the ideal trait to have. Eat cardboard. Eat cardboard. It's free. Cardboard? I don't think cardboard has any calories. I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah. Mm. More fats? You have more fats? Like peanut, peanut butter. butter. Yeah, peanut butter too. Fats and proteins are going to be what keeps you full for a little longer. Good fats. Um, but carbs and veggies are going to make you, like, it gives you energy, but it's gonna eat take silica. Longer. Yes, yeah. eat Orbeez. Eat it's gonna Orbeez. Keep, it's gonna keep you full no, for like a that. couple years. They already look like jelly snacks. <laughs> they know? do. They, they really so do. Yeah, I don't know. And like, especially when you put them in water and they become like transparent and kind of like. Funny. I've never also, played why Orbeez. Why is there like there? There's like six questions about pizza, pizza in a row. I'm starting to think this is a fetish thing. Are you guys? Into pizza? Is there in someone that's into way? Yeah, in, someone into pizza here? Yeah, in, in like a weird way? How many pounds of pizza does the average American eat each year? I'm How do not you think an average we know American. This? You think we know stuff? Yeah, <laughs> you're asking a VTuber. <laughs> We're not yeah. an average American. I eat like two slices and I'm full, so I don't know. Question for you, is there any nutritional value in concrete? Well, I mean, there's probably like minerals in there somewhere. Minerals. Yeah. Like birds eat rocks. You're right, but don't don't they eat rocks to like there's there's like a biological reason for it. Yeah, it helps them grind. Yeah. 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 Maybe but they eat rocks. Yeah. Maybe I'm a bird. I did tell oh, you guys I, I, I was this close to being a bird tuber. Yeah, you're gonna be a swan, yeah. right? Yeah. Like it was not gonna forgot that I was <laughs> He literally forgot that I was gonna be a bird tuber and he's like, I don't know what the hell you're supposed to be and that's how I ended up as a seamstress. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, now you you can snip snip. I was this close to eating rocks. <laughs> yeah, eating bugs and rocks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> they want more story of your. I told concrete. you. Of, I already told you guys about the concrete. Okay. They want to know about how the much concrete. more? Uh, okay, it was a sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> the birds were chirping. Like, what, what do you, what do you want from me, bro? <laughs> the, the texture of wet concrete. The chalky. It's grainy. It's kind of grainy, but surprisingly, um, not as thick as you would think. Okay. Like maybe maybe the one I had was like freshly mixed or something, but it was kind of like peanut butter, peanut butter texture. It was like a peanut but butter, like green. Yeah, and and makes your mouth feel like absolute shit. <laughs> like mm, there can't be good additives in there. As compared to the sand, it's like I mean, concrete's basically it, it does have sand in it, right? Like kind of. I don't know. What's the worst thing you ever saw someone do to good food? I need to show you this TikTok later. Okay. Or actually, I'll just show you now. T to hell with my to, to hell with my VTuber model. I need to show you this TikTok because I. <laughs> Wait. It's, <laughs> it's basically this this one um influencer uh -huh. who reacts to people making like cursed food. Oh yeah, yeah. There's lots of cursed TikTok food. There's though. one of like a really cursed casserole. I need to show oh, you. Oh no, what do they put in it? I've seen one where they put potato chips and made like a cursed beef happy face with the eggs in it. Oh, that one's yeah. pretty famous. It's, that it's, one's so it's, gross. It's the, same, it's the same genre as that. I need to find it. Like they literally, okay, so there's like the, the, the baking tray. Yeah. So they put they put the stuff in the baking. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna describe it to you. Because I remember okay. it clear as day. Okay. It's, it's been it's been steered into my mind. So there was the baking tray, right? Yeah. So they pour the pasta or whatever it was into the baking tray. With the papers the paper's still at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then they put they put the pasta. Uh-huh. And then afterwards they uh they grab I think a bag of garlic, like you were talking about, like getting just like bags of frozen um, oh, stuff, oh, right? Oh yeah, like you just get a bag of frozen garlic cloves. Okay. Pour it into the the tray. 
Oh no, okay. And then they take some mushrooms. Okay. They don't wash it. They don't. Eating dirt. <laughs> they don't wash it. They just take some, take some, you know, good old mushrooms and plop it in there. Oh god. And then they, 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 they get some turkey ham. They get some turkey ham. Turkey ham. They they sprinkle it over, and then with the same hand they feed some to the dog. And then take some more out of the bag and sprinkle it back in. Oh. And then they got their parmesan. Okay, parmesan, yeah. And then they go over, get some tap water. Let the dog drink some of the tap water from the cup. And put it in. And then pour it oh, in. Oh god! And then you know how dirty. <laughs> from the dog is like a, a seasoning. <laughs> it's a seasoning. <laughs> and the TikTok I watched was really funny because like it was like this girl reacting to it. Every yeah. time like she fed the dog, she would let out the screech. Like she go like ah. <laughs> That's disgusting. yeah. And then and then right after they they just shove the whole thing into the oven mm -hmm. and then like. An unspecified amount of time passes. They take it out. It looks exactly the same. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And then like she, the the the, the, the one, she's white by the way. She's a gringo. She she looks so proud in her apron, holding the tray and everything, and like posing with it. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. I wasn't gonna comment on that, but there seems to be a demographic that creates yeah these cursed food these contents. these these influencers. Yeah. Mm. Imagine getting famous for making like cursed food. Oh yeah, the the waste. the the potato chip smiley face hash brown still lives in my brain for free. <laughs> it does. I think about it a lot. I think oh about gosh. it a lot as well. I think Gordon Ramsay reacted to it. He did? Oh, he, he, did. Did. he, he did. did. He did. He's like, Uncle Roger, help me. Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger, <laughs> Uncle Roger help me. I love Uncle Roger. Oh, I love him. Oh God. Okay. Right. I think that's the, Is end. That the end. Yeah, some of you sent really cursed questions. Yeah, a lot and of some of them were like repeats, like repeats. similar questions. So yeah, I hope I hope today's stream answered a lot of your food related questions. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of your a lot of your uh weird tastes and um questions about bussy. The snick oh, we missed the snickle. What Wait, the, what's the snickle? Hold on. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll see it. I'll see okay. it. Okay. Okay. Here. All right. So hear me out. So we all have this preconceived notion that certain foods do not particularly mesh well. But have we tried them before? Why are we so scared of mixing things that are unfamiliar? Is okay. this a manifestation of the innate human fear of the unknown? Okay. Let me combine fish sauce and pickles. God damn it! How am I supposed to know the snickle? The snicker and pickle is abhorrent if I've never tried it! Anyways, that's my rant, thank you. I mean, I put grape jelly in my grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. And it's a good combination. So if a snicker and pickle goes together and you tell me it tastes really good, I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't know. I'm not too, uh... I think Against my... It. I, I was at, I, I would be advised by my lawyer not to answer my opinion on this nickel. Okay, what, what is... What, we give you legal immunity, but what you say about this nickel? Even considering it, even the fact that you're considering mixing them, I suggest... I suggest... If you want the same experience, to literally... fill a bathtub full of meth and smoke it all. Snort it all. And maybe then, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll try this fucking snickle on snickle <laughs> on stream. <laughs> maybe I'll do it. You guys I, at the pill. No, you guys did everything. Nobody tried the snickle yet. I've seen another VTuber do like a a um ilk tier list. What's like ilk? you know like like pilk um everything. Oh. So there's like pilk, which is like Pepsi and milk. Um apple jilk. It's apple juice apple and milk. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle jilk? <laughs> okay, no, 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 that like sounds vile. No, that one sounds vile. Ketchilk? <laughs> Which is ketchup and milk. Okay, no, 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 that sounds disgusting. No, I don't know, man. I can't have milk anyway, so. Yeah. Mm -mm, you just know. milk. Right. Snickle sounds like a slur. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Don't we don't use that word here. Okay, fine. What do I we call it? We don't use that word here. What do I call it then? 
Another stream dream? No, I'm not buying a whole jar of pickles here. I mean, what, am, what is my grandpa gonna do with a jar of pickles? <laughs> yeah, what if you get He's sick and you can't go yeah. home? <laughs> exactly. Membership! Thank you for the 10 uh, members! Some neck, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Glad, thank you, Dad, for the super thank chat! You. Yeah, I'm no, sure this must you. have been like Christmas came early for you. I know. Or, or, right? or late. I know. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the gift subs. I really not subs, members. I can't yeah. keep getting confused. Um, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What are what are you hoping to eat tonight, Hime? Mm, honestly, I'm craving something like meat. I'm not craving meat, but we're gonna have meat like again soon. Tomorrow, tomorrow, right? We're supposed to meet up tomorrow. Oh my for god! Another dinner. Yeah. So what are we gonna eat today? Okay. Well, I mean, let's look some places up later and yeah. um. Yeah, hopefully they're pickle free. Can we get a hug on the street? Yeah, we can get a hug on the Okay, we, we hug. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think they wanted a hug. They want a hug? You want a hug? I don't okay. Know. I... Yeah, there it is. It's <laughs> my <laughs> yeah. It's alright. <laughs> alright, yeah. thank you for the five dollar soup. Uh, Trevor, great answers to our questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dinner in the construction site. Yeah, let's go eat. Let's go eat at the construction site um, over there. I think they have concrete. They have, they have fresh concrete mixes. Fresh concrete <laughs> mixes. Let's freaking go. Asbestos. <laughs> I don't think they use asbestos <laughs> anymore. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll see you guys soon. I don't know. When is your next stream? When's your next stream? Tonight, actually. Really? Yeah, it's at 10. 10? Okay, yeah. You okay. We'll be fine. Hours. We'll be fine. Okay, if I don't get back home in time, just assume that um, I've passed out face first in concrete. And um, <laughs> and are eating it right now. Yeah, I'm still I'm still making my yeah. way through those vestos. Um, but yeah, 10 PSC, and uh, I'm gonna be on Twitch actually. So yeah, nice. Yeah, so go follow him on Twitch and on YouTube and everywhere. Yeah. Um, I am on vacay, so mm, technically enjoy you guys your are not supposed to see me until <laughs> the 30th. But we'll see what we can do. Family is really rowdy, so I can't like stream. But I'll try. I'll try to have another Zatsu if I can. Okay? Yeah, she really misses yeah. you guys. She I kept, she kept talking about it. She was like, "I want to stream. I want to stream." Oh, you're so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, go, yeah. uh, go follow Hime. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for doing the collab with me. Thank you for doing yeah. the collab with me. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad we can resume this podcast. Thank you for meeting yeah. me in this cave. <laughs> yeah, this cave, this cave, honestly, aside from the moth, the moth? 10 out of 10 yeah. cave. Yeah, 10 out of 10 cave. It's a rich people cave. Definitely not a poor people cave. Yeah, yeah. Definitely no not. poor people allowed, by the <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll see you bye guys. Bye. 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 Wait, wait, raid? Wait, what? Raid? 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 Who are we going to raid? Um, hold on. Let's see. Um. Um, here, no, here, no, here. that one, that one doesn't work. No oh, does it not tell you? Does, does, no, it doesn't oh, tell me. Oh, it does oh, not oh, tell oh, me. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh God. Uh, literally, Re oh, Remy. Oh, Remy? Remy? She's still streaming. She's. Oh she's my still God. Still streaming. Okay. Okay, Remy. All we'll right. Send Remy. you guys off to Remy. To she's, Remy. She's she's training her mind sleeper arc. She's in her mind sleeper arc. So, um. Please bear, please bear with with the the Nephilim as she <laughs> as she goes through her training arc. Uh, Pippa's streaming as well, I think. Pippa, she's she about oh she's she's about to go live, I think. Or is she already? Uh. Did she just go live? I know she usually streams at six p.m. PST. That's true. I think I think Remy could. We should just read. Okay, we'll send yeah, you guys we'll off send, to Remy. We'll send you guys off to Remy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see how good she is at Minesweeper. Yeah, and how long she's gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Thank see you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.